Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Saturday Night Fights. We made it to another Saturday. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is so good that we made it to a Saturday. It is a pleasure to be here with you all, and of course, with Sean Connery, whom we do without whom we haven't started Saturday Night Fights in well over a year. Oh, good Lord. Um, but in any event, it is a pleasure to be with you and with our switches. First of all, to my immediate left, as he often is, we have Velker. Good evening. Good evening. How you doing? Pretty well. We had good lunch today. We went out for Greek food. Cleaned my room a good bit. We clean, We made a, We made a hard clean, purging some of Velker's more youthful possessions, trying to pivot him to that time in high school. So that's going to be kind of crazy. Ooh, 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 ooh. A little hard for pops and mom. Anyway, mom's out working tonight, so you're playing. Tonight, though, we're coming at a little something different. Thanks for measuring the table, Ron. Uh, <laughs> jerk. The, um, we're doing a little something different. We are doing bloody big battles, but we're not doing Napoleonics, which is what we usually do. Uh, we're doing the Boer War. Why? Well, because we want to do something a little different. And frankly, we've been playing bloody big battles, which was never built for Napoleonic battles, so we figured we'd give it a shot using the rules for which it's intended. Uh, this is the Battle of Spion Cop. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing that horribly wrong, which was the 24th of January, so we just passed the anniversary, 1900, so it was 122 years ago. A um, little bit of history. Following the outbreak of this, the First Boer War, the Boer army surged into Natal and laid siege to Ladysmith. A defensive line was established along the Tugela River to await the inevitable arrival of the British army. The bulk of the army disembarked at Durban, which is still the major port in um, South Africa, before traveling up to Pietermaritzburg, the capital of the colony, whose local militia were also mustering. The large combined force now made its way along the railway line towards Ladysmith. In order to relieve the town, the Boer defenses on the Tugela River would need to be overcome. The large British force failed to break through at the Battle of Colenso, which is another well-known battle of this war. The British generals, having received yet further reinforcements, shifted their attempts to cross the Tugela further upstream to the west in another attempt to relieve, relieve Ladysmith. The key to this position was the Mastiff of Spion Kop. Following a nighttime ascent, the Boers were subjected to a rare Boer frontal assault and to a withering enfilade and artillery fire before retreating, having lost 300 dead. Mm, mm, mm. So it's a bit of a grim go, but before we do anything else, we might as well send out, I'm not just sending out a tweet, I'm also going to uh, heads up the nice folks at Bloody Big Battles who have been very supportive of what we do, uh, including Chris Pringle, the uh, author of The Rules. So Following here we go. Do, 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 do. David Pumphouse, a pleasure. Good evening. Has good evening. Uh, nice to see you both. Our tweet is out. And our Facebook page is out. So good. We'll let folks know and see if they want to come by and maybe yell at us and tell us we're doing the rules all wrong. Um, so there are, this. the scenario as we have it is once again an example of the incredible scenario support. Oh, shoot, who do we have with us tonight? My gosh, I have no manners. We already talked to Velker. We have over here, we don't know what side they're going to be on, but they are here with us. We have Red Sax. Good evening. Good evening. There he is. We have Mike, OJ's dad. Good evening. And we have over in the corner trying to figure out how he could play somebody French, but realizing there is nobody French for him to play, Ron Dalinor. Good evening. Good evening, all. Nice to have you. Uh, so we have the two sides, not unsurprisingly. The Boers under General Louis Botha. And we have the British under General Sir Redvers Buller. Those are both... There's a name you don't see anymore. Redvers. Redvers. No. Redvers is not a name you see anymore. Uh, much less... Well, Louis is, I suppose, still among us. So uh, does anybody have any preference, Boers or British? Not I. Ron, no preference. I, don't have a, I don't have a preference. This isn't a time period I'm familiar with, so I don't really have a preference. All right. Well, we got a die roller. Um, we're going to go uh, high. I'll, high I'll, go ahead. I'll, I'll take the British side. All right. You're British. Who wants to join Mike on the British? Velker, you want to go I'll over there? It. Oh, you're going to do it? Okay. So, Red and Velker, you're teamed up. 
and um, Ron and Mike, you're teamed up. So we'll talk about how the how the forces split up. Then let's start with the Boers. Um, as as you think, I think you know in bloody big battles, there are many commanders that we could imagine represented out in the field, but the fact is they are not repeat not listed unless they were significant in the confines of the battle. By the way, you have to acknowledge. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Ooh, there they are. Look at these lovely figs. These are Kendo originals. These are some of the old Kendo figs. So they are they are pretty cool. We have over here Commandant Red Commandant Red Daniel Opperman, a significant commander. We of course have General Luis Botha, the commander in chief. And we have all the way over here Commandant Kronje love that name. Commandant Kronje. Over here, on the British side, there aren't as many generals. But we do have Major General Neville Littleton, 4th Light Brigade. Where did he go? I thought we had one more. There he is, yeah. We have Major General Henry J.T. Hildyard. Hildyard is how it's spelled. 2nd Brigade. So there's the two overall commanders. But remember, they're only helpers in the efforts to activate troops in bloody big battles. You'll also notice that these divisions, for that's what they are, of troops, are small. Most of them come in twos. Okay? Uh, however, despite that, most of them have skirmishers. On the other hand, notice one thing about all the Boer commandos. While they are trained, while they have repeating rifles, and while they have skirmishers, they are all fragile. Fragile. French. Fragile. They are, they are fragile. Exactly. So, and they come in these pairs. They're all in these pairs. You will also notice, however, they are dug in. See these entrenchments that we made for them? Aren't they nice? I think they're nice. Look at them. Oh... They function as rifle pits, so they're not hard to they're they're not easy to see. They are not easy to see. How about the British? What do we know about them and their quality? Let's take a look. We have most of them have skirmishers. They are a little bit bigger. They are trained, and again, they are armed with repeating rifles. So they got a lot of stuff going for them. The only exception is interestingly enough, and I don't know enough about the history to say are these horse. Two divisions of horse. But this one here is raw. These guys are good. So look out for your raw troops, as you might imagine. Now, you'll notice also that I was able, because of the great work of Haz, thank you, Haz, to get this. Where'd it go? Where's my boar gun? Haz did such a nice job. There it is. Here's one. Their guns, they're, they're called pom-pom guns. That's one of Kendo's original models. He was able to get it so it could fit it onto this thing. So that's an authentic period weapon. The other guns, the artillerists are correct, but the other ones are cribbed from the polionics. They have to proxy just because the models don't exist. Makes me sad, but what you're going to do? Um, so that's, that's what we know about the troops. Let's talk about the scenario. The Tugela is impassable, except at the fords or pontoon bridges. The trail has no game effect. The fords are, I hope, obvious. There you go. Only crossbow at the fords. All Boer troops are rated trained and given skirmishers reflecting their experience. Whenever you fire on them, they get a left shift for smokeless powder when you fire on them. They used smokeless powder. They were one of the first to do it. The British force was mainly regular army with the exception of the local militia. British is mostly trained. The militia is raw. The rifles are given skirmishers reflecting their doctrinal approach. The British are going to get 
two free moves. Turn negative one and turn zero. When one unit in Woodgate's force may begin ascending at night. These are only British movement faces. No British firing, no Boer moving, no Boer fighting. The British deploy and move first. All the Boers may move and evade as cavalry. That's how, that's how quick they move. If they move at cavalry speed, they suffer the right shift for being a cavalry target if fired on. A British artillery unit may not fire against a Boer unit if any British unit is within 9 inches. British artillery automatically gets a left shift because of Boer camouflage. British artillery gets a low ammo result on a roll of 10 or more, not 11. The British Royal the Royal Navy British artillery moves at half speed because it was ox drawn. That's the one up there. Big guns. Yeah, they're just that big. And they were pulled by oxen. Right. And what were they being pulled up, by the way? This right here, this little no this little knoll above the other knolls, that's actually Spion Cop. If you want to know what it looked like, it's right here in this picture. That's an idea of how high and how steep that is. So you wonder why they got a bad time climbing it. Indirect fire. This is a biggie. Indirect fire is allowed, presuming there is a greater than three inch gap between the intervening troops and the target. So that's for both sides. You may fire indirectly, but there must be at least three inches between you and the person you're firing at. It gets a left shift to allow for greater inaccuracy. The slopes to the south side of Tabanyama, Spiankop, and the ridge are all steep and impassable to cavalry, and all artillery, including the mountain battery. Where is that? My wife, I think, did a very nice job showing you where it is. It's all this here. This extra thick slope. All right. How about deployment, since the British go first? Let's talk about Littleton of the 4th Light Brigade. He is all the way down there at the far corner. He must be within 12 inches of the southeast corner, south of the Tugela. He's got to be on, this, uh, on the side of the Tugela that he is on. All right. Those guns have to be on Mount Alice, which is what they're sitting on. Woodgate's men, who are the uh, Royal Lance Lancashire Regiment, the Lancashire Fusiliers and Thornycroft's Mounteds, as well, they're those, it's those 10 bases plus the field batteries plus the Natal 9-pounders. They have to be north of Tutugela within 6 inches of Trichard's Drift. Where they are, within six inches of Trichard's Drift. So they're going to have to step back a little bit. All right. Major General Cook, which is the Dorset Regiment and the Middlesex Regiment, they have to be six inches west of 11th Brigade and with six inches of the Tugela. And by the way, this isn't all that complex. This is probably simpler to show you this. I put them where they belong. This is their rough boxes. So they're all pretty much located where they're supposed to be. 
The exception is the Royal Dublin Fusiliers and the Somerset Regiment. They um, start at the start of turn two. That's these boys down here. Oh, sorry. Where'd they go? There they are. And they can show up anywhere within 12 inches of the south edge. And for the Boers, it's best to say you are pretty much where you belong right now. Oh, shoot. What's the south map edge? It's over here. This is south. That's north. All right. So again, remember, it is Woodruff's men who are comprised of these four units. They're the ones, one of those units is allowed to attempt to ascend on turns negative one and zero. What are the victory conditions? There are five victory locations. Count them five. One, two, three, four, five. The British have eight turns to get three of them. Eight turns to get three of them. If the British get two of them, it is a draw. If there's any other outcome, the Boers win. Right, how many do, do the British have to get? Three. Three to win. Three. Three. Two is a draw. Anything else is a loss. Yep. I'll let you set up your chats. As I say, you're pretty much set up where you need to be. Probably the only exception is these boys who can reconfigure a little bit. And these boys who can snug a little bit. But then you're also going to have to decide who, which one unit of that is going to get to do the ascending thing. I've noticed a lot of chat while I've been talking. I'm going to look at it. Chrono? Oh, okay, you do have to head out. I was going to be mad at you. Good to see you. Yeah, I watched that, a little bit of that on the tabletop defensive works drift. Has, were they using men who would be kings? They said they were, but it seemed a little different. Oh, is that right, Marky? According to Marky Hustler, ooh, interesting fact. Did you know that the stand behind the goals of all English football grounds is called the cop? The name was taken from this battle due to the tall, steep nature of the ground. I did. I certainly didn't. <laughs> Where are the boars? I was told there would be boars. Belker, a breathless messenger in the text for you. Yeah. I, I sent you something myself. Response sent to you, Red. I guess I'll ask the British, how are you dividing up your troops? Uh, we're talking about that right now. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. This guy's feet are going to get sore. Message sent back. <laughs> Sounds like he's typing away. So, Jim, do the cavalry fight, since they're dragoons, do they fight as in dismounted? They, they, the um, bloody big battles don't care. 
The okay. answer is they would you would be considering them to dismount, which is why right. they have the ability. Which is why they're carrying repeating rifles. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. So. Right. Okay. In some respects, they're like the Boers in that they can, you know, they can move and shoot. And our measurements for shooting, are they right on the chart or are we doubling them? Tonight? Chart is correct. So I thought I was just double checking. Yeah, I made this one. This is, I weakened and I made this actually 4 by 6 See, if we would have had all that snow, if you would have had all that snow and storms and stuff, you would have had time to make it bigger, right? Well, it's actually not that hard. Well, I suppose it is a pain to make the rivers <laughs> bigger. No, the uh, the other set I'm working on is double sized, and it's like, oh. And you said um, the royal lances and the uh, basically these two divisions here, mm -hmm. they can they can attempt to get up here on the overnight turn. Right, exactly. Turn. They get right. uh, they are they are going to get. Uh, let's see, I want to get the exact wording because this is one of those weird little interesting thingies that they did. Uh, one infantry unit of Woodgate's force may begin ascending at night. Yes. And again, no fighting, and the Boers will not be able to react. Bearing in mind, of course, that this is a, obviously a steep hill, costing you movement. British all set, or uh, you still you still talking? I th think we're all set. All right. I don't know what the truthfully what the Boers have to do. You guys all comfortable where you are? I think so. I believe we are. Okay. Excellent. Snuggling up in our entrenchments. <laughs> Snuggling, you say. Okay, let me just check one thing real quick. Yep. All right. Well, let's remind ourselves what our turn order is for Bloody Big Battles. First thing we always do in Bloody Big Battles is unit movement. Unit movement is not automatic. Uh, this is turn negative zero, so, or negative zero, negative one. So Velker will have an opportunity to see how movement works using a die roll. Which of the lucky units, the this one here or this one here, have you selected to uh, ascend to the cop? I will do this one here. One on the left, all right. And uh, remember that uh, turning outside of your 45 degree arc costs you uh, three inches of move. So... Uh, let's see. Let's see if they want to be activated. Uh, we would look at our activation chart, which is sitting all the way down there at the end. But I happen to have it right in front of me because yes, I did buy the rules. Don't ask questions. Is he in command radius? I don't think he is. No. No, he's got no general right nearby. Uh, he is, however, in column of march, which is a nice plus one. He's neither passive nor fragile. He's not in difficult terrain, and he's not spent. So uh, two d six plus one. You have to turn on your print function. Uh, sorry, it was a nine. A nine. 
Uh, is that with the the plus one? Uh, with the plus one, so, uh, yeah, yeah, with the plus one. Okay, so it's a full move. Away you go. 12 inches. You have to rotate to face, right? Yep. yep. Because if you move outside of your front 45-degree arc, it costs you three inches of your 12. That's fine. And you might just want to grab the front guy and move him first and have everybody else. Follow. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. All right, that's four inches. Mm -hmm. Got eight more to go. Seven. You traveled one. Ah, that's about, I think it's pretty still, don't you? Yeah, traveled one and three inches yeah. for the face. For the so I, four. I thought the turn was... No, yeah, the, turn, the turn cost you three, but he moved one. Okay. Thought... Right, so that's four inches. Yes, yeah, so Velker's never played Bloody Big, so he's learning. Okay. I thought you were saying the turn was four inches. No, no. So that'll leave you short. Yeah. You can get right up to the ridge, though, can't you? Let's say. Here they come. And just plow your way behind them? Yep. <laughs> All right, everybody grab a unit. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to park them there behind you, Ryan, and then you can yeah. straighten them up, pretty them up. Alrighty. All right. Well, that's turn. Bearing in mind that that's everything because there's no shooting, and there's no morale phase or anything else like that. This takes us to turn zero, which is another opportunity for you to move that unit because that's the one you've selected. Still a plus one to a two d six. Yep. Twelve. Full move. <laughs> and they recover. And they get a bay of a base back. And Red's ranging his guns. <laughs> I, I would tend to uh, disrupt about that because, oh, this is turn zero. Uh, this minus is, this, one, is, this so is turn zero. Yeah. I don't get to shoot there. You don't. Okay. You don't. Is that being my guys, too? Yeah, those are his. Those are Velker's guys anyway, aren't they? Hey, I don't mind. I'm just making sure, you know, I want dead British. <laughs> shoot the British. So, Ron, you're uh, able to climb. That's nine inches now. But obviously, it's another three to climb the cop. To climb Spion Cop. About formation change. Half move. Hey, Brant. And you do it kind of on the flag, as it were. Looks like this. Yep. That leaves them with six. Yeah, three. Unless you don't want to move three. There you go. All right, we'll see what fate that brings to those lads. Give Brant his close up here. couple of good close-ups. I like this one. Hey, Brant, I saw your email. I just haven't got a chance to get to that yet, so probably be tomorrow. 
just FYI for you. All right. Or in so, between turns, maybe I can work on it. So uh, that's it. That takes us to turn one. Remember, it's an eight-turn game. So now it is turn one. Uh, British, go first. Where do you want to start? Movement. Oh, I guess you're on, you're, you're, yeah, you're on, you're on. go ahead. Right. That's gonna say start on your side. Yep, we'll try and move uh, Littleton over here. All right, so you got to move these individual divisions. So which one? The one on the left, one on the right, the artillery. Yeah. Um, let's go with the one on the right first, the first yeah. rifle brigade. All right. They are in column and they are in command, so that's a plus two. Uh, it's going to be, uh, I think that's, a, is that a half move or is that a nothing? Six. 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 Half move. Half move. Great. Which is six inches, right? Correct. Yo. All right. There's their movement. Mm -hmm. mm, this artillery can't get up between them and the river, can they? Nope, not effectively, I don't think. Well, they can interpenetrate as long as they can get clear. Yeah. You know, the, he, he can he can interpenetrate these guys all the way to here if he gets a full move. Right. He's got another plus two. Yeah, I'm just looking at something here real quick. Mm-hmm. Who's got a plus two, did you say? The, the gun. Actually, both these guys do. Both oh, your, yeah, yeah. Okay. Both your guys down here in the 4th Brigade have a plus two. Go for the gun next. All right. Six. Yeah, that's a full eight. move. 12 inches again. Yep, I'm going to get him up to here. I mean, he cannot unlumber at this time, sure he though, can. right? Yep, mm -hmm. he that's a formation change. So if he gets there, he can turn. The one thing he can't do is shoot. Because right. when, when you yeah. move and unlimber, you can't. But he is unlimbered. Shoot. All right. All right. And how about these? And ones? then we'll try the Scottish. Second Scottish. All right. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's that, that's that's as bad as you can get. Does it? Fortunately, you got that plus two. But uh, we're at a regular. Disrupted. No move. No, no. That's if they were no, disrupted. No, no. Yep. Yep. No Just move. No move. No move. All right, Ron. All right, I'll go here. Okay, move it. Yep. And how much to get past that? Three. No, he's talking about interrupting. He gets to shoot. You get to shoot. That you. What you should always do in bloody big battles is watch the traverse of a guy as he walks in front of you, like this guy. You can shoot him at any point along that walk. Oh, so could I have done that just then? In your no, what what you're gonna do is if you choose to use this gun to shoot him, you're gonna say go back here. But you're going to want to watch everything he does, too. All right? That's a plus one. Dead bot. Cook Kane is a fine name to watch him. Game about the Boer War. Yeah, has I'd be very interested to see both their scenario and anything special that they did. That that they did a nice job with that.
You said these naval guns move at half speed? Yep. Because they're being hauled by oxen. Yep. Yeah, put them on the train and, and ride their trains over. Right. Well, that's how they got here. That's how they got to Ladysmith, anyway. Or not to Ladysmith, to uh, uh, Durban. All right, that's those guys. All right, next. Do I do anything with the cab there, uh... OJ? Yeah. Um, hang on one second. Bye. Back. Um, yes, we will attempt to move the first Royal Dragoons first. They are not in command. Half move. Seven. Yep. Wait, is it nine? Is it eight? Am I wrong? What's that? I'm just checking my movement rates. It's nine, sorry. Nine, nine. inches. Yeah, let me uh, back them up because I got to face them first. Okay. What's that? Okay. Too many rule sets. I tried to move them off, of, off at a 45 degree angle. Ah. But that is not outside his 45 degree arc, so he may move without penalty. Right. You said nine? Or nine. Eight? Nine. Nine. Hey, nine, John. nine, nine. 1900. January the 20. Uh, head is leaky. 24th. One of the re one of the several reasons I wanted to play it is we had just crossed the anniversary, so like having anniversary. Got run. You keep circling things. Sorry. Okay, I didn't know if you're trying to tell me something or. Oh no 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 no. All right, then we will also try to move uh, Bethune's mounted infantry. Mm -hmm. Full yeah, movement. Plenty. Plenty. Da, da, da. Let's see, I think I've got nine, just over nine inches into there. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, I'm just thinking here for a moment. <laughs> yeah, that's that. We were discussing the rule for the smokeless powder that gives the Boers an advantage. They have, they have several very, very nice advantages. Um, Jim, so Bethune moved at mm -hmm. less than 45, mm -hmm. made that turn. So that was zero mm -hmm. hit to, to his movement. Can he move back this way, facing back this yep. way, or is mm -hmm. that? Yep, okay. that's fine. I couldn't, I wasn't 100% sure if that incurred a. Mm -hmm. Just gonna hold them there then. And you do remember that you can't climb this. Oh, I can't climb that. No. Oh, I'm sorry. The way it, it the shading changed there, I thought I could climb that. Nope. It's all oh. It's all impassable to cab over here. So if you want to go back, that's fine. Here, I'll... Okay, I, I apologize. I I was, I I was watching changed... you do it, and I'm like, what's your plan here? But Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just the way it changed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, fading you see there, it's and... all solid. Yeah, nah. yeah. my mistake. And you know that you've got valid moves, so... Yeah, one's at half move, and the other one's at full, mm -hmm. so... That. 
Hang on a second. Let me confer with something here with John. Or with, yeah, John. With Ron. That's all right. That's my middle name, too, so that's fine. There you go. No, never mind on that. Um, I'm typing you something here. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. So exactly where do you want Roger, me to get to? Just back over to here right now, you think? Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Just make sure they're pointing in the right direction, that's all. Yeah, we want them to go this way, right? Is that what you're thinking? To a degree, yeah. Actually, cavalry can change formation to uh, mass. Mass also, right? Mm -hmm. Wondering, Ron, if I should just go ahead and put them into mass right at the moment. You can. I'd be ha changing formations half movement. So. Yeah, I mean that would be these guys' whole movement. That's fine. No, it's it, it's half available move, so you would actually cut yourself down to four and a half. Okay. Yeah, so, we'll, so you, you can still move after that. So. Yeah. I was just going to say, though, it doesn't matter right at this point if they get their full movement or not right off the bat. Correct. Now these guys can... So they got five inches left. That's good facing. Get them the one move. They can do that. Right. And they can just kind of squeeze up in there just a little bit more. They can have a little bit. Okay. That's it. I'm done. Uh, I think that. Oh, these are mountain batteries. Mm -hmm. I don't think where I can put these. All right. I'm going to move the mountain battery. Nice. All right. So. That's three inches. What are batteries movement rate? Where's the movement rate? Is he limbered? Yeah. Yeah, it was facing the other way, so assuming he was limbered. Yeah, yeah. Twelve. Alrighty. Next will be these guys here. Those guys there. Those guys there. The second door. Sure. But only because they're in line you, or in column, you see. Right. Now, when I change formation, can I change their direction with their looking? Right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. The formation change, okay. which should be six. Mm 
Yes, Gandhi is a stretcher bearer. A stretcher bearer at this battle. No, Comic Sans is not my favorite font. You're right about that, as I don't. <laughs> I like Comic Sans just fine. No, but that's because you're wrong. It's because you are wrong, my son. What is the Howard to consider for range wise, like on this chart? It's it's marked for the type of artillery that it is. It, most of the stuff out there is breech loading artillery. So a BA is going to have uh, oh, it is it is breech loading. Okay. Three, twelve, eighteen, and twenty four. So it's got it's got hella range. How's that? Left shift if it's indirect fire. All right. Uh, this is a stream, right? Yes. Can this cross it or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to yeah, go for the, this one. Nobody crosses the two gala. Which is obviously the right. main river, but the... the main river. And he is in command, I believe. Yep. So plus two that'd be a seven. Yeah, seven is what you need. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's good. Half move on a seven, though, isn't it? No. No, it's full. Six, seven is a full. Five, six is a half. Four is your parked. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Three inches past this? Yeah. Five point two. You didn't change formation. No. So you're there. So it's, it's, so it's five... Yeah, you just add three to whatever. So basically, now right. you, can, you can move uh, nine inches. Right. That's good there. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a bigger unit. Mm-hmm. Doesn't the stream count as a linear obstruction? So it, it did. It six? No, it's three. Oh, okay. It's only three. For okay. artillery? Is that artillery? Oh, yeah. You might be right. You might be right. You could well be right. Right. Let me have a peek. Green effects on assault. Oh, yeah. Some... Cav right. already right. eats. Yeah, you got you uh, got to take back three inches, Ron, because cavalry and artillery has to, uh, is it costs six, not three. To cross the stream. Well done, Red. Thank you. There is a great picture of those naval guys hauling those guns with those oxen over that, over the two Gala Fords. Just what a nightmare. All right, uh, General. Oh, that moves on a separate turn, right? Yep, yep. Ron, actually, I, I need to move my navy guns, my naval guns, also. Yeah, that's fine. Remember, just just so you know, and I'm not saying you shouldn't, um, but you do get indirect fire if you want it. And what's the range though on 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 it? In twenty four, twenty four inches. Right. That's why I was looking at that, Ron. But can these? Can can the boars come up over this down this way, Jim? Sure, sure. This while this is down, a right? steep, steep, steep drop, they can come down it just like you can go up it. Right. Okay. Now, now let it also be said, they are currently sitting in fire pits that I don't know is they're going to readily leave unless you make them. Right. But right. that's that having been said, I'll hold them where they're at for the moment. All right, so I guess we're good. General's move. 18. 
hate when you read my mind. Defensive fire. Bowers. Alrighty. Who wants to start? Red, will you start? What you want to shoot at, Red? Um, yeah, I don't have any shots, except for maybe over here. Let's see, you're repeating rifles. So 12. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna max out at twelve inches, yeah. Still not bad. It's three three two two. Oh, so I'm under six. Yeah. That's what is it? One, three. two, three of base. Three. So that's six. Yep. Okay. So you're gonna shoot at them in column right there? Alright, yep. so let's take a look for our shifts if we could. Uh da, 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 da. they got skirmishers, do they? They do. Uh, but so do I. Okay, so that's a, that that it's just one up and then one back. Yeah, he's in march column, which is one to the right. You're rolling on a nine. Two d six on a nine. Six. Nothing, because those aren't raw troops. Okay. Anybody else who's got a shot? Anybody else? Nope, these guys don't have the arc. No, I don't want to fire him so I can turn. Okay, I'm good on my side. Okay, Valker, you've Valker. got those. You've got uh, those guns. These guys, when they walk yeah, exactly. You can. So what you can do is ha you can basically you're telling Ron he's going to walk back to here, where his it's actually going to be under six inches. So it's going to be this. It's going to be the exact same thing except you don't get the shift. So just so you understand how this works, you have skirmishers, which gives you a right shift. Okay. He, however, has skirmishers, which gives him a left. Does he? Should check. He does not. So you get a right shift for that. Mm -hmm. Now, he does not, he is not in March column, which would have given him a right shift. Okay. Which would have given you a right shift. Okay. So you've got a single right shift. Each one of your guys at under six inches, those repeating rifles have a strength of three. So it's three plus three, a total of six. Okay. So it's six with a single right shift. I'm looking at this chart. It's also over at the end of a table. The six. Okay, I have a question. Would yep. he get a flank here too? Yes. Good okay. point. Uh, flank fire. There it is. Right yes, shift. that's another right. So that's six with two shifts, rolling on a 12. So instead of rolling on a six column, instead of rolling on a nine column, you're rolling on the 12 column, 2d6. I see. Okay. Six. That's a hit and a disruption, which is going to cost. Well, he didn't hit skirmishers in the first instance. He is trained, so he doesn't go uh, spent until he loses more than that. So we're going to put him down here because troops can come back. But unfortunately, that does mean I have to mark him with a disordered marker. Does the does the ten apply to just the British or British and Boers both? Just the British. Okay. Well, let me ask how this works. Isn't that mean that he has to go back to here then? No, because he wasn't attacking. Oh. Okay. If he's attacking, he's halted, I believe. Let's look that up. That's a good question. I, I'm because certain I mean, because it also here. halts him. Yeah, because it says disrupted and halt. Yeah, and well, that halting I have always taken to be just if he's attacking.
if a unit move closer to the firing unit yeah if it's yeah if it's appro- yeah if it's approaching forced. if it's approaching you you stop it but he did not he crossed in front of him so he disrupted him as he went by cool all right so movement is straight ahead right? you don't move yet oh. you're this is defensive fire all right uh, i don't think we have anything else your guns don't have range But is that a Steve? Can you see me past that? Yeah, mm-hmm, sure. Okay, just ask. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's interesting. I was looking for that run, and I just don't see anything like that in the rules where they take a look at that from a from a hill perspective. It's a it's a it's a good question. So, uh, that's a BLA. What's the range, Velker? Yeah, I think it's thirteen. Fifteen. Uh, thirteen point three. Oh, so it's just an 18. So you'd be firing at a 2. Because, um... I had... Oh, because you're a half... You're actually a half... That's a half BLA. Uh So you'd be firing at a 2. But, you know, it's... Is is there ammo? No. Well, there is if you roll an 11 or a 12. You go low on ammo. Oh. But uh, other than that, no. We shot him up so good. You shot him up so good, exactly. I don't see any other modifiers unless he's got skirmishers. Does not. So yeah, two to hit him, you would need a ten. You need a ten, ten or better. No. Nope, not there. Anything else? Any other guns? Anything? I don't think so. All right. Offensive fire, British. Do you want to try? Do you want to try your cannons there, uh, OJ? Yeah. Yep. So you got two guns. Who are you gonna shoot at? These lads over here. Range. Twenty-two oh. inches. Sorry, Mike. I pasted it out for you. No, no, I know. Yeah, I was about those to say. Are both, it's under 24. Those are both full BLAs. At tw- those are both full BLAs at twenty-four. That means they're looking at four. Uh, any shifts? They're going to get that left shift. So you're actually going to shoot at uh, the Carolina Commando. Correct. Yeah. Do you think that's right, Ron? Probably not the seventy-five millimeter, right? No, yeah, go with the Carolina Command. Yeah, they'll go yeah. with these guys. Yep. All right, so you're going to go for the Carolina Commandos. Unfortunately, they get a... Let me look at that rule. When exactly they get that special left shift. It looks as on the... Uh, in the terrain table. No, no, no. This is when they get for the scenario. Boers receive a left shift for smokeless powder when fired upon. Yep. So they're going to get a left shift and one for their... Ter- oh, I see. You're talking their terrain because they're in a fire pit. These guys aren't These guys aren't in a fire pit. They're not? They're not dug in? Nope. Okay. Nope. Mm-hmm. They have skirmishers? Yes. That's four with two left shifts, so you're going to roll on a one. To hit him, you need an 11. All right. One gun at a time, correct? Are they no, considered... no. Everybody fires as, as one. Okay. Nope. Nope. Blam, blam. Okay. Any offensive fire? Anybody else? Can these cannons fire indirectly? All cannon can fire indirectly, as long as they're unlimbered. Oh, yeah. Gives a left shift. Uh, those All guys right. are those guys are dug in. Yep. Range. Round eleven. Well, one's eleven. Yeah, you're gonna have to check the range individually. These are just single BLAs, right? All right. Yeah, ten, eleven, eleven, ten and a half. So I'm probably okay. rounded up. Yeah, so that's four. And this one's at twelve. Yeah, four guns. Well, it's all twelve is what matters anyway. So it's that's four guns, sixteen, 
That's a nasty battery. 16 was a fire pick, I think. One left. Two left for the smokeless powder. And three left for the entrenchment. Or for the uh, indirect fire. 16. You're rolling on the six table. You're going to need an eight to hit him. No. How about a five? That is not it. Not quite. Not, you're, you're blasting away and not hitting much. Go ahead. This is not my life. All right, well, that's all I have left. All right. Can I fire from column? Uh, yeah. We... But you moved, though. I thought you couldn't fire when you moved. Oh. The yeah. infantry over here, Jim, they can't fire, right? They can or can out. That, uh... They moved. I think you can fire. Cannon can't fire when it moves. Oh, right. okay. Oh, if infantry can, then that's a different story. Yeah, but the question, uh, but the, the question is, can it, what do you can you shoot out of a column? You'd think we would have come up with this right. before. I'm not that's sure. What I was trying I'm to not sure. I'm not sure you that can. <clears throat> No, honestly, we've played this before. I know, Fire right? Eligibility, 6.3. Well, last time, though, we didn't really have a columns that got into attack range, I don't think. So, yeah, it's just, the yeah, so the deal is it's going to be the one base. Yeah, the one base right. can fire. Yeah. That's the way I was seeing it. I wasn't seeing anything. Yeah, and column. he's... What's his range there? Under six. So he's a two. 2. Those guys are in fire pits. So it's two left Maybe. shifts. Yeah. So it's a two with two left shifts. Three for the skirmishers. And three for the skirmishers. You can't hit them. Okay. That's fine. All right. I have a firing right here. Under six, yeah. Three They're the disrupted, front. so it's half. Yeah, so it's three in the front. Uh, da, 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 da. Three is six. Half to three. Flank. Um, no fire. Flank. Pit. Right, flanks it up shift. Yeah. So it's three, but he's but it's a downshift because he is a boar and he's just got skirmishers. So it's a net downshift. I don't see anything else. Three with a net one downshift. So two, huh? Uh, no, because you would have, you were at two because you didn't get to four. So it's a one. You need an eleven to disrupt them. Oh, close. In the range, in the area. You let them know you were there. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Uh, let's see. So if they shoot down, can I shoot up? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Felker. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I you know, like I say, I was I was looking all over the elevation rules, and Mike, you've got the rules. Take a look and tell me, but I don't see it. You know, I, I know that it affects movement, but as a matter of fact, if you go to elevations, they've got a very good section on terrain. It's one of the big areas of the, the book. And if you go to it and you look up elevations, which is what they call this, and you say effect on fire. Oh, there it is. I don't know why I didn't see this. A steep slope. Blocks LOS between two points if the lower point is closer to the slope than the higher point is. So this, ah. is, this, this is blocked. Okay. So they can't shoot at us either then, Correct. at that point. Correct. So that means he can't shoot at, he could, these cannons couldn't shoot at me because. 
Are you closer? I am closer. Okay, then there there you have it. That's the dead ground shadow, you know. So it wasn't in the firing section, Jim. It was in the, in the terrain section. It's in section. terrain, yeah. Okay. Let's take a look on page five. Yeah, it's yep. a 312 mm -hmm. is the paragraph. 3.1.2, yep. All right, then, so they can't fire. So, Mr. Bowers, I believe, is your turns. Yep. Bowers, do you wish any movement? Uh, I do. Valkyrie, do you want to move first? Um, I still, I still need a little bit to think. You can go ahead. All right, Red, you're up. Yes. I would like to uh, rotate this gun. All right. See if it, see if it wants to rotate. Yes, if it wants to. It's okay. It doesn't mind rotating. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I meant rifle pit. That was a, more, a little more than a 90 degree turn, I think. Doesn't matter. You can, that's That basically okay. amounts to a formation change. It's fine. Yep. And I think I want to uh, rotate, rotate this part of the uh, Carolina Commando. Well, you've got to, oh, no, that's... you've got to maintain a formation. Yeah. We're going to change formation here. To what? Facing that way. Oh, that way. Got it. Yeah. See if they want to. Here we go. See if they want to. They, oh, they, they may not have been happy about they, that. They, they get a half move. They do get a half move, so okay. you may. Just so you know, you will not be able to shoot past that gun. Right, I understand that. Okay, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I can move them slightly, right? Oh, yeah. I believe he had. No, he can't because that's on the... Uh, on the on the thing. Yeah, I would say you're there, there, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, that works for me. Okay. Let's see. Uh let's see. The Johannes Burgers, I'm gonna move them uh I wanna move them probably back a little bit. Okay, just just so you know, they're going to leave their pits. Oh, they are in pits? Oh yes. Oh no, they're gonna stay there. They're gonna stay there. Okay. Um, let's see, I'm gonna move this uh, commando, the uh, Lindenberg, Lindenborg, commando. Yes. Yeah, they're probably gonna want to go right here, so I'm gonna roll for them. Mm -hmm. I hope they feel froggy. They do. They're good. Yes, they do. Uh, so it's like a full move, right? It's a full move. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's go. Go. That's, mm -hmm. that's about three inches, right? That's I no, that's your three inch forty five. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Got nine left. Okay, and then I'm gonna go forward. about right there okay leave everybody else i'm finished with yeah i think i'm done Velk, it's your turn Velker, anybody all right i want to move these guys all right you do know they're in a fire pit i do all right but they can't do much with this well until they get up there until such time as those guys get up there. Right, but they can't see much right to where they are. Like, <clears throat> That's true. So they're going to just turn. Well, you got to roll for it. Uh, see if they're motivated. Are they within their range of their leader? They are, so they get a plus one. Yep. 12 inches to move. 
Yeah, you got a lot. This cost three. Was this guy still in the pit? Um, yes. Not that guy so much. Right. But our doom, that's good. And this guy. Oh, wait, could this guy move backwards? No, because then you wouldn't be in formation. And since you're firing at a whole unit, this unit is not going to be in a pit. Oh. You have left the fire pit for all practical purposes. Rifle pit, sorry. Could I move the whole thing back? The pit. Can you move the whole unit back? Yes. But again, you won't be in the rifle pit. Also known as pre-dug uh, graveyard, a mass graveyard. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I mean it's a trench. You don't you don't get to leave it that easy. If you want to move, you're going to leave it. Well then. All right. Anybody else? Is this like um? If one guy can see it, you can see everyone? No, I, no, no, you measure it from the individual unit. So the center of this unit, and that's where you got to measure from, the center of this unit is, let's say right here, 9.1 inches away from this ridge. Uh -huh. He can only see things that are 9.1 inches back. So way back here. Right, but I'm curious, well, where's the arc? And if one guy sees someone... Can oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Then it, well, no, it's base by base. It's not. This is, why, why are they like this? Because they might come. They didn't know where they were coming up from. Then just turn in your pits. Please. Can I just turn this? No. Because the unit turns as a unit. Uh, well, I think the fire pits are, or the, the rifle pits are unlocked, though. All right. I guess we have to go I'll double check now. that they're where they're supposed to be. No, I believe you. Yep. Weird. Put them right on top of them. I, I believe you. I just don't like it. <laughs> Very good. Well, then that means they have to turn as well. And they do. You can always fall back into them, too. And the rest of these guys should be good. All right. Defensive fire, British. Even units that shot before can shoot. Yep. For now. Everybody shoots twice. So we'll go ahead and no, these guys can't hit anything. All right. Your artillery can't is considered defensive fire or no? Well. well if you fire with the artillery, find them the bolt, you might be able to hit some. Well, the gun moved last time. And can shoot but this is their this is turn. defense. Yeah, this is defensive. You can fire in defensive at half. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Then we'll go ahead and shoot it. All right. What's range for the artillery? Under six. Is breach loading? Hmm. Do, 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 do. Breach BLA. loading is five. Yep. It's a five, and then that individual base is a two. But it's, it's halved, so it's three, and it's a two, so it's a five. Uh, shift one, two, three. Five goes four, two. You can hit with a 12. Nope. nope. Did not hit. Else. You want to use your combined artillery, and I'll use yep. my guys. We'll shoot at this cannon that's right here in front. You want the cannon? Yeah, well, that's the only thing I could shoot. So. Oh, you and me go after the infantry, though. The, the no, no, let's go at the cannon. Okay, let's that's fine. Take out. Yeah, we'll go after that. Right, so we, can combine, we can combine it. You know? All right, so you guys are over there with a big old nasty twenty-four and a six. 24, 24. That's four for you. What's your range run? Uh, 
Uh, it's on this, uh, just under six range. Oh, I'm sorry. You're talking about this infantry again. Yes. So that is um, six. It's three per base. Nine five. That's it. Yeah, and then it re- then half it. Yeah. Yeah. So five plus four is a nine. Shift, smokeless, but counter shift flank. Anything else? Do you have skirmishers? Well, no, it's, we're going after this guy here. The 75 millimeter. Oh, the gun. Got it. Nine shift flank. I think that's it. Want me to roll or you want to roll, Mike? Go ahead, Ron. Yeah, uh, sick. Nope. What column were we on? I apologize. Nine. Nine. And he's not raw, I guess. Nope. No, I'm clothed with gunners. All right. One, two, three, four again, or till indirect at these guys. Three of them are within the 12, and one's just above, just at 12. All right. 12 is, of course, our marker. Yeah, uh, three of them are below 12. Three is 15, one more, 15, nine, 15, 19. That's nice. They're in a, uh, they're in a bunker. Yeah, that's one shift and two shift because they're them and three shift because it's, um, and three shift because it's indirect fire. So 19 is 16 with a three shift takes you to a six. Oh, I thought the 19 shifted it upwards to 20, which then goes 16. No, I don't think you. Oh, I don't think not. you get the. I don't think you get the next highest, do you? I thought we always did it that way. Always. Okay. Yeah. You always bump it up to the one. Yeah. yeah. Ah. So he goes to 20. Yeah. Yep. Takes him back to nine. Very good. Incoming. Becoming a lot of fires. What? Nothing. Oh, wow. I don't know. Wow. Bunker, they're throwing ash at you. Oh, yeah. Mr. You got to be kidding me. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Negative. All right. Offensive fire from the Boers. You got anything? Yes. Uh, let's see. My gun turned uh, here, so. Wait. It doesn't get to fire. Doesn't no, fire. it does. It's a half. I Look thought, I thought it only fire. got to fire in defensive and that at half. Oh, I don't know about that. I yeah, it's, it's just, it, it gets to shoot half. at half in defensive. Because you see, it fires. Disrupted, low on ammo, reduced artillery, pivoted, unlimbered this turn. I did pivot this turn. Yeah. Yes. The fire fight multipliers right here. Okay, so it's... Oh, but, but that's... But pivot is... is oh, got it. Okay. So pivot is an exception. Very good. So it's half. That's going to hurt. Under six. But it is a half. It is a half for a BLA. And it's still five, three. Modifiers. Anything? Uh, I don't think disruption's a modifier. Nope. You don't have skirmishers. Three. So f- on the four column. Mm. Uh, nope. Only if they'd been rook- only if they'd have been raw. Okay. Who else? Let's see uh, over here again with the uh, uh, Johannesburg. With schmutz, we're here on them. Okay. I think that's Shoot. under six. Yeah, it was under six the last time we looked. So they have skirmishers. He has skirmishers. He has skirmishers. So. I have skirmishers. That cancels out. Yeah. Otherwise, it's uh, march column. Repeating rifles. Repeating rifles. Repeating rifles. 
It's at six, three. three. Episode six. Uh, six. One right shift. Yep, six with a single right shift. Nine. Seven. Okay. Trained yep. takes a disorder. Yep. That's a disorder. And a, and a disruption. That's what I mean. Uh, and I mean a halt. Doesn't... It, well, they're not they, moving. They didn't move. You were firing offensively, remember? A defense. No, you oh, were yeah. firing offensively. I'm sorry, I'm, you're right. Yeah. So, other offensive fire for the. Uh... I might have some. All yeah. their firing is offensive. <laughs> Should I hit this guy? To do you? Yeah. Well, he is. That guy is. It's this cliff here, but you're on the same level as this. I'd say so. I might. You're 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 in. Hey, hey, I thought this thing was super tall. Super yeah, tall. Was it is high. super tall. It's interesting. It doesn't mark it though. I wonder if it intended to. See, it, this is marked as a steep rise. This, interestingly enough, is not. Though I understand. Oh, I, I understand why why you feel that. Uh, if you could shoot, it would be just this guy. So that's a two. Skirmisher to no skirmisher. Flanking fire. Flanking yes, fire. Yes, skirmisher. Two red oh, ships. I... So that's f and what's the range, Valker? It's it's center of the unit here. Six. Six yeah, so that's a two. So it's a two with two right shifts, as I see it. You're on the six, exactly. 2d6. Nope, nothing. Nothing, nothing. All right. And could I hit with this guy? No, that unit has now fired. No, you can split. Never mind, you can split. Go ahead. Who are you asking about? I think you're going to be out of range. Eight? No. No? So Twelve is the range. Wow. Eight repeating rifles is nasty. Holy cow. Yeah, two. Absolutely. Yeah, we're not dealing with smooth bores from... Yeah, I, that's the thing, right? I mean, it's... <laughs> <laughs> so that's a single right shift, because you do have skirmishers. Um, two of the right shift. Four. Nothing. Okay. Next. Is that going to be it? So. All right. All right, that takes us to turn two. Turn two. British movement. You're up, Mr. Mike. All right. <clears throat> we'll start over here. I can't do anything to remove the disruption marker. No, correct? you have to roll. Remember, you have, have to roll, roll. you have to roll your activation on the disrupted table. Yep. You are yep, in column, right. and you are so you get a plus two, but you got to roll it. Nice eight. T ten is a good roll. Full move, and you are undisrupted. All right, that's right. So there it comes off. Mm -hmm. We're going to change formation into uh, mass. All right, go ahead. Now remember, when you change formation, you can also change facing at the same time. Which is what you're going to want to do, yeah. Right. Dead bot. Yeah, I'm sorry. Churchill's on as a bot. Those bloody Churchills. Uh, he's got to come back here behind the artillery probably to do this, doesn't he? Can you help a win at the Dublin, the second Royal Dublin uh, Fusiliers come on? Turn two. Ah. It's turn two. Mm-hmm. You want to take over the Dublins? Yes, yeah, I yes, can. I will. <laughs> ah, smart Alec. I think he can clear the. Yep, the Ford is a Ford, so over he goes. Yeah. Probably got to go more like that, don't I? Mm hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But you also got to go straight. Yeah. Straight, straight, straight. Try not to get too far. Oh, so and you also can can't. Push. Yeah, you. If you if you get within three inches of him, remember you got to oh, face right. him. So his three inch. Oh, the cow. It's so right the there. You got to face him. Okay. You got to turn to face him, which is going to cost you that. Yep. So that puts me into the Ford. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. But you also you got to. It's got to be this. Got to be that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it was more of an angle nope. to face him. You're just okay. Yours, and right. again, it's all about this center point. Mm -hmm. You know, it might even be a little like that, but there we the go. The narrowness of the four doesn't doesn't prevent him from doing this. Nope. No, he's got to he has got to do it where pretty much when he hits your radius, he's deploying out in the middle of that forward. He's gonna not love life much, I suppose. All right, um, Scottish. Just for the Scottish. record, just for the record, though, Mike, um, mm -hmm. how many inches did you move by the time you hit that forward? You had six left. Uh, yeah, that would have been I all of it. Six. Yeah. I, it all yeah. Up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll try and move the second Scottish rifles. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're filling it. So they also are going to change formations. Mm -hmm. See what you're doing. Make their face and change at the same time. And they got six inches to move, which they can't get all the way, uh, can they? No. Probably not. Nope. Just right about there. Mm -hmm. That's fine. All right. And the gun is going to yeah. stay? Yeah, it's unlumbered. So. All right. Very good. Who's next? Uh, uh, let's move on moving down the line. Let's go. All right, that gun. No. Oh, bugger. Okay, let's go with these guys. It's a good thing I did the guns first. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. That's good. Rally in place. Is that rally in place? Okay. Yep. So you get you stay where you are, but you lose your disruption. So. Okay. Let's do good with these. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Are you kidding me? Wow. See, this is the... Let's get into like that Napoleonic game. Mm -hmm. Let's go with that. Mm -hmm. There's a plus one. That's a full move. All right, 12. So changing formation. Three inches. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now, three, move. In, three inches. Three inches, and then three inches. Mm -mm. You only got 12. You took half, so that's six, and it cost you three to climb it. Right, and then I got three inches after that. That mm -mm. equals 12. No, no. So you have six inches right now. Right. It costs you three inches to climb this thing. So you have three right. inches forward. Oh, I see what you're saying. And that's what I meant. It's like I still have oh, three inches to okay. go forward. Got it. I see. All right. How it serves. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Where's that robot? Oz, the move in the world. He's on lumbering. That I would not like to see, John Stanley. Holy cow. Apparently some Lee Enfields were equipped for indirect fire. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, my God. Plus one. Proximity to general. Yep. Oh, no, half. That's a half. half. Yeah. And only because you had the proximity to the general. Mm. 
So the gun is unnumbered. All right, what's next? Uh, Calvary next. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I am in column, well, so they, if you, well, they you can, can go through them. Right, mm -hmm. they can go through them if they get enough movement, because they've got repeating rifles, so they can shoot yep. from the saddle. Or yep, yep. They don't have to dismount, I should say. Six. Half. Uh, on 18. Oh, yeah, they can make it all the way through. If I can figure out how to run my keyboard and mouse tonight. And then the first Royal Dragoons. Mm -hmm. Seven. Full move. Which actually I don't think you can really use anyway. Oh yeah, you can go up there. Oh, yeah. He can get up there. I was looking at that. Doesn't interpenetration cause it cost him uh, nope. points? Nope. Oh. Mm. As long as you clear, you're good. All the, right. the only thing you can't do is interpenetrate infantry and column on a road. All right, and that's everything we have. Nope, Mike. Oh, yeah, I got these guys to bring on, don't I? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. They have to come on here at the board. No, no, they come on here on the south. They're, they're come on pretty much anywhere on I'm this sorry. side of the board. I'm sorry, I meant, oh. Oh, so they could come back up over here. They could, yeah. Mm -hmm. Walk them through the swamp if you want. Yeah. How far from the table's edge? Six. Well, they're 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 moving. Oh, they got to roll. They got to roll to move on. But remember, yeah. they always get a half move there, and they get they're always in command, and they're in columns. So that's a plus two no matter what. Four. <laughs> and you needed you needed all of it, so that's a half move. Six inches. Actually, I'm gonna come up here off the artillery some more. Sure. I didn't pay attention and realize that artillery was there. Not Came a lot up. of willingness. I don't see a lot of British willingness. Not a lot of wanna. They're saving it up for the next for from 14 years. <laughs> Ouch. Not wrong. That's all our guys. All right, all your guys. Um, defensive fire. Defensive. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, generals. Move generals. Generals. And always remember, if your general is closer to the enemy than he is to you, he's a casualty. Ian Jackson is in the audience tonight. Bear that in mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We don't want any not not both us. We all set. All right, defensive fire, Red. You got some, I imagine. Yes, sir. We got uh, oh, these guys start. over here again. Jo Johannesburg boys. Yep. Yeah. So skirmishers, the skirmishers, yeah. Yep. Uh, that's gonna be that's. Is that inside three inches? Check that from center. It's from the center, not of your base, but from the center of the unit. There you go. Is it three inches? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Mm -mm -mm. The repeating rifle at three inches is... doesn't matter. Three. It's only three anyway. <laughs> yeah, but it would have been a two. Yep. One more would have been a two. So that's six. Six makes a difference. We're equal on the shifts. Six. Nothing, no. I think. Yeah, six on a six nothing. is nothing. Okay, next. Uh, let's see. This gun on the uh, boys on the hill. I'm on sorry, Red. Which one? This one here? Yep, right here. Yeah. Is that a half? Yeah, that one's a halfer. What's the range? Less than it's six. Under, it's under six. Under six. Okay. But over three. Ooh. Breach loading artillery. Wrong one. There we go. It doesn't matter. It's all under twelve, which you got to get to under three, as as Ron was pointing out. Oh, uh, so three. 
three. I don't see any other modifiers. Three no shifts, so it's four. That's breach loading artillery. That's you're at five, a half, isn't it? You're at a half. Uh, half. Okay, yeah, that's right. Because I don't have a full battery. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Last up. Nope. Ooh. Nope. Nothing on a four. Okay. So going as history says. Well, they're not up on the hill yet either. <laughs> That's the funny part. All right, other defensive fire. Valker, you got any? Red, you got any? I probably have some. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Those horses have gotten convenient. Yeah, yeah. Shoot at this one. You shoot at that one there? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, you're going to have You can pick. It don't matter. You got skirmishers? Yeah, you do. He don't. Range is above three, I reckon. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So. Still a three. It's a three either way. Six. With a right shift. Who are you shooting at, Volker? Which one again? The one on the hill? Yeah. Six with a right shift is a nine. Nothing. All right. Next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, check who's got range. Uh, or, uh, sorry, arc. 45 degree base to base. He does for sure. Check all the way to the end. Does everybody? Yeah, okay. So I'll make sure. Now these, this is, uh, it's four guys, all trained. What's the farthest range you've got? 11. All right, so they're all in there. So they're all threes. That's 12. Actually, it's nine. Well, yeah, it's as long as It don't matter. 12. It doesn't get under three. So that's 12. Skirmishers? Yes. They got skirmishers? No. No. 12, single right shift to a six. Ow! Yeah, Red, what you were saying? <laughs> this is where it starts to get ugly. 16. Go for it. Ouch. Oh, yeah. That's a, that is a disruption. Disorder. That is a disorder. Yep. Needed a seven to do a casualty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good shot, Vulcan. As it goes. I think those guys are going to be out of arc. Yep. Single shot? Yep. Range? 14, but that's going to cut into... Does he have skirmishers? I think all of you do. Yeah, I think we all do. I think all my guys have skirmishers. Three, so two, single right shift of four. Four. Seven. No. Okay. That's, I think that's all for me. Offensive fire. Yep. You may start over here on the right, Ron. Yep. All right. So artillery and the first rifle brigade are going to shoot at smuts. Mm. Artillery. The infantry is within three inches. Mm. We determined right. Yep. So that's everybody in the front. So they're going to get to roll on a. It's a nine. 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 This is direct. Nine. This is direct fire. So no shift. They have skirmishers. They do. They have skirmishers, so the skirmishers will just check. Let's do our totals. So that's nine plus, what's the range on the gun? Under uh, six. Under well, six. It's, not, it's over three. Let's put that one. Yeah, that's what matters, I guess. Breach loading artillery is five. So now 14. Five. So it's one left shift, two left shift, right? Yeah. So 14 would go to 16, two left shift, nine. Nine. One casualty. Yes, sir. And that takes them out. Yep. Bump fragile. No, because you only got two units. You only got two bases. Right. You're at fifty percent. And those firing pits stay there for us to use. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you they're they're oh, like... those are entrenchments. So you know, <laughs> but they're they're facing that way. It's not it's not like they vanish, right? I know. I, it's not like hopefully I don't need to use them, right? <laughs> right. It's, if you're using those, I don't know exactly what you're up to, but good shot. All right, next. 
Ron, you want to make the combined shot against this artillery gun again? Yes, we, yes I do. All My right. guys are on half this time either, which is great. One, two, three. Are they so there? Yeah, they're three apiece, so that'd so be nine. nine. Yeah. Nine plus? Plus my artillery. Plus his artillery over here. Which is another two, so eleven. Okay, but that still does because it's indirect. It causes a shift. It, it is indirect? Yep. Yeah. Why is that indirect? Oh, I guess it's not indirect. Yeah, you're on the yeah. same level. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. 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 So that's two more, you say? Yes. Reach so, loading, right? At, reach up to loading. 24 yes. inches is two. Between 18 and 24 So that's four. Two. It's actually four. So it's nine, four. nine plus, because there's two of them, right? Right, so 13. Yeah, 13. Anything else? Is that it? Mm -hmm. That's it. All right. Uh, what are we doing on skirmishers? He's got him. You got him? You don't got him. No. So 13 with two left shifts because they're boars. But... Oh, you're shooting, the at the, the, you're shooting at the gun. I'm sorry. Right. And where these cans were in its flank. Yeah. Yeah. Does artillery have a flank? I'm just asking. Oh, yeah. Well, at least the Napoleon they did. Yeah. Okay. So 13. I only ask that because when they're limbered, they don't have a turn. They're, they're, they're considered they can turn 360 with no penalty. That's That's why I was curious they had a flank well if they're if they're limbered it's always or it's harder to hit them right no it's easier i'm sorry it's easier to hit them right let's double check that flank thing since we're here i was just curious just only because like i said is because of the rule for for when they're limbered There's an example in the book. There are flanks. Okay, that's okay. all I needed. Yep. Yep. Thanks, Fred. Yep. I, I was just curious. Like I said, it, it, only because it was artillery. I wouldn't all have right. asked for so it. All right, so 13 uh, on a flank. 13 on a flank, no skirmishers. I don't see anything else. So 13 is 16 is 20. Ouch. Just... Oh, I thought you said left shift. No, it's a, it's a right shift. Flank yeah, when you hit him in the, yeah, when you hit him in the flank. Okay, like Ron, Ron, roll. Why? Got him. Seven. That's a got him. Yeah. That's a kill. Mm -hmm. Rolled above average, Ron. Good job. Nine. No, he rolled exactly average. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah on, the, on the on the bell curve distribution of die rolls, that was the right at the peak. All right, other offensive fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, Calvary, my Dragoons over here, Mounted uh -huh. Infantry. Yep. Over at these guys here? Yes. Oh, uh, but, oh, but, we're adding these guys. Yep. Oh, yeah, and then we're adding this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy. All right, well, that, that'll, that buys you the left shift. Um, so, but we'll work it through. So this is this is three two each. So eight yep. plus four twelve. This yeah. This, one, two, three. Yeah. Disruptive. So twelve. Yeah, right. yes. Yeah. No, I knew that. I was just seeing the rain. Yeah. So twelve and, then, half, remember. and these guns are how far out? I think we figured out there are fives. These are under twelve. These three. And this one was Oh, a little bit over 12. So that's 15. That's 19. These things are nasty. Uh, 19 plus 8. 27, 31. Holy cow. Now I see why they give them those advantages. That'd be 36, but both have skirmishers. No. These guys do. Do they? Okay. All right. 
So, uh, 31 with two shifts. 25. I'll let you do it, Mike. All right. Three. Really? Yeah, they live. That's the scary part. Yeah. Wow. That's one a, of the very like few rolls that would have let him live. Yeah, I needed a four. I needed a five. I thought he a needed four? a four. Yeah, I think a four would a, have done a, it. Four, four would have disrupted him, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, they're disrupted yeah. anyway because they're trained. Yeah. No, four would have killed them because. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. You're right. No, yeah, that would, yeah he needed a five. He need... I'm counting upwards, not looking at the numbers. Yeah. All right. Wow. <laughs> well, maybe we'll get him on the defensive fire next round. Right. Maybe. Let's All right, Ron. Go. Let's go. Because right. <laughs> that's Botha back there. That's the head dude, too. It's the big man himself. He kept them in line. That's why they didn't run. That's why they didn't run. Yeah. It's like, where are you going, boys? Nowhere is where. All right. Any other fire? I think that's it. Uh, you know what? Let's just do, because I forgot to add this one in, but we'll do it for somebody else. Let's just add a mortar in. And we'll go after these guys here. Those guys there? All right. Now, is he, he I, I, you, notice, you notice he's different. He's a howitzer, you see. Even though he's a breech-loading artillery. Uh, range? Uh, it's... It's above 18, so it's in a 24 range. Okay, so that's two with a single left shift and another left shift. And and two, you can't hit him. Nope, can't hit him. Okay. Then that's it. All right, Bowers. Movement phase. You're good right where you are? Yeah. All right. Uh, you will well, have to roll for this guy right here to figure out what his deal is. He's, he's spooked. But he does have a commander right by him. So two dice? Two dice, plus one. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Four. That's a four. Man, you guys have not. Although that three was pretty good, a four is not very good for. Uh, just stays disrupted. No move. Grand. Yeah, that's that's not what you wanted. No. To be sure. Well, good job, lad. Oh, Velker, I have one thing to say. These British aren't acting like they're historical counterparts. Oh, I don't know. This guy not being able to climb up the hill the right way. <laughs> How about this guy not moving? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's who he's referring to. Yeah. That that seems awfully like what happened. Any other did the Boers want to do any other movement? That'd be a risky move, but I don't think I can make it. I am going to stay where I am for right now. Hey, Richard. Now we, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell Chris Pringle I'm demanding a cut. All the nice people buying the game. <laughs> Well, if you've got a copy of the rules, Richard, and we say anything wrong, you got to be like Has. I, I don't think Has has these. Just, Do you? Have? Just, just, just remember though, Jim. If you're going to take credit from from Chris, you're going to take the blame from our wives. Good point. <laughs> no, no, Chris is a good dude. All right, so that's it. Uh, Often, sorry, the defensive fire from the British. He can he can repay you by giving you those Napoleonic. Uh, yeah, nice books, Napoleonic uh, book. And, although he said probably not 2022. No, that's okay. We it's not like we don't have enough to try, right? That's true. We have games to play. That's no doubt. Whatever will we play? All right. Virtual ledge push. You're right. Defensive right. Roll fire. Up, fire here. Mm -hmm. With uh, the naval cannon support. Yep. Ten, if I recall. No, four. That's right. 
You guys are supposed to be dragging these across the road. Come on. What are you, why are you firing them at a distance like that? You're being a jerk. They're two apiece now because they're a little bit off the six range, so. Oh, are they? Two, so are... four. No. Oh, those guys. guys. Two for two, six. Four. Six plus four, ten. Am I right? Yeah. Yep. That's definitely artillery. A That's a flank shot for sure. Anything else? Ooh. Just that it's well you've got a flank oh, which would be a right shift yeah. but it's a left shift because they're bowers and so it's it another left shift and uh, right. and they got skirmishers so it's 10 with a left single left shift as i'm seeing it yep so we'll be at a nine mm -hmm. yes sir Can you get her on no no good <laughs> All right, let's do the biggie. All the many points. That one, that one, that We were one. at 25, I think, yep. weren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, well, were we at 25? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nothing yeah. No, Nothing else. No, no, doesn't changed. Oh, what if I add the house or into it? Another two points? 27. That's, that's not going to make any yeah, difference. Yeah, it's not going to get you there. Okay. All right. Once again, reminding you that 25, <laughs> all you need is a five. Go ahead, Mike. On. No, all go right. ahead, Mike. Trust me. <laughs> Three. Three. <laughs> well, that, that's another disruption on him. Doesn't matter. He doesn't matter. Matter. Doesn't do anything. That's See, Ron, you should have taken that roll. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> So, I guess, so I hey, guess Red, what were you saying about what, what happened historically? <laughs> yes, I was wondering if there's a game in Las Vegas where the low roll always wins because I'm ready to give Delanor some money to go to Vegas for all of us for a piece of the action. Because, yeah, I mean, but that was me that rolled those last two. That's true. Okay, we'll send you and Achilles too, all three of you. <laughs> yeah, Achilles had a run. Oh my god. Um, all right. So Evidently, other... you didn't see me playing co Chain of Command there a couple weeks ago, that's or awesome. even this week. <laughs> also true. Uh, any other defensive fire? I think that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Our defensive was on fire. <laughs> Offensive right, fire. I'll be back one sec. I no longer have a gun. Uh, let's see. These guys. Velker, do you want to go first? No, that happens during your movement. Well, he can shoot. Oh. Hey, we're up to 16 viewers. Out. Yeah, we were actually at 18. Oh, or Yeah, he can shoot. He just fires at half effectiveness. Might as well. Um... Yeah, yeah. And if you can... Has ha, doesn't have these rules, so he can't correct us, so he's uh, working on Kendo's uh, bases. Yeah, all right, so these two guys are going to team up on the, this guy. All right. And, uh, okay, so they're going to team up up here. I just observed that these guys actually have the lower morale. Oh, yeah, if you shoot, if you kill one of those bases, he leaves. Yeah, I'll kill this guy. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, skirmishers. Yeah, do they both have skirmishers, though? Ooh, that's an interesting choice. Because he doesn't have skirmishers, which gives, which would mean you're shooting with a right shift. Okay, because that's a no net. Uh, I don't know. Do I have a chance to kill if I shoot with that guy? Well, let's take a look. That's a good question. You've got two bases. What's the range, please? Is below six. Yeah, watch your hand there, Red. There you go. Three. So you're rolling a three, no shift, no nothing. Uh, for you'd have to roll an eleven or a twelve. Let's go. Uh, and you gonna try? You gonna shoot down here? Or what, what is that one? If you go there, because it's a right shift, you could kill on a ten, eleven, or twelve. Uh, sounds like a good deal. Well, not that big of a deal. We'll go with that guy. Anyway. All right, eleven or twelve. <laughs> no. All right. Next shot there. These guys. Yeah, I believe we they were all in. Yeah. So that's four. And they were how much each? 
their, what was their value? What's their range? What's the, the they're all under twelve, right? Yeah, they're all under twelve. Not a, under six though. Okay, they're, it's under three that you got to worry about. It's three, six, nine, twelve. Right. So it's three, but it's it's three either way. So twelve single right shift. Yes, twelve single right shift to sixteen. Hit it. Just a disruption. Nothing. One more. One more and it would have been a hit. Yep. And that, that would have been bad for them, you see. Yeah. But, uh, okay. Anybody else? I don't think this guy has a shot. Oh, that's right. You got one guy that's got a shot there. Yeah, he does. Range? Oh, wait. He's in range. Oh yeah, three six nine twelve. All right, they're both in range. So that's six. Uh, but if you can't because you've got to you've got to join their fire together. You can only fire it. You only shoot at one guy simultaneously. Right. My my point is this unit and this unit would have had to fire together. And and with what you rolled, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. Well, actually, right. let, let, that's fair. Let's figure that out because that we can yeah, figure I mean, out. Yeah, I mean, what did he roll? He rolled six. a. He rolled a six. Six. Which six on a? He would have had to have been on a, on the nine at least. Is that right? Actually, two, he would have had to been three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. He would have 18. had to have been on the twelve column. Eighteen with a right shift. Eighteen with a right shift. Yeah. Oh, he no. That's a kill. That's a yep. kill. Yeah. Yep. Nice job, B. Nice. Yeah, remember that those angles are pretty dramatic. And on a, on a 12, yeah, so, ooh, the 2nd Dorset Regiment, 2nd Middlesex Regiment takes a hit. Pow. And it's disrupted. If it, takes, if it takes two hits, it's spent. I think that's it. That's all she wrote. All Obviously, Good no meal. Okay, I have shots. Oh, you do? Where are they? It's a do, right here. Oh, yeah. Is greater than six, so that, probably it's, two. It's six doesn't matter. It's is it? it it's it's two a piece. Yeah, it's two piece. Yeah, That's two four. Piece. Yeah, so four, four. I have skirmishers. He does it. Boys. Yeah. Yes. Four with the right shift. Four with the right shift. That means we're rolling on the six. Ooh. Ooh. Nine. ooh. That, that, that's a disruption. That is a disruption, which I don't think they wanted. No. Nope. The dog didn't, for sure. That's for sure. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Any other shooting? Um, see, nothing over here, nothing over here. Nope. Very good. And now we uh, go to turn three. This is turn three. British, move. All right. Can you start over here on the right, Ron? Yep. All right. Attempt to move the first rifle brigade again. Mm -hmm. Six. Full move. All right. And there's no penalties for going up over this hill. No, or that's not rifle. a steep hill. Right. No, no, I was just, I was stating that. that yeah, uh, yeah, I just looked at it. Mm -hmm. So, yes, Mike. For you, it's a complication. <laughs> yeah, we got a nice crowd in tonight. Hi, everybody. And I got two more inches from there, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Straight ahead only. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. To your right, to your right, to your right. Yeah, but that's going to take me out of arc, I think. Mm -hmm. Right, right now, I've got can, one base I can, can shoot or two Whoa. bases? I think all three. All three? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I might as well just leave them there for the moment. That, or you could, you know, 
shift them 15 yeah, degrees. Since well, I just did. I, I just shifted them one. Oh, okay. Doesn't the ang the hill cause them an issue here? Oh no, this is a this is an easy slope. So yeah, no it's problem. a gentle slope, exactly. Yep. I guess Jim, I could I could, well, I could rotate them one more time. Yeah, right? if you, you get one click. Mm -hmm. Well, I did one click already. Get two. So clicks. yeah, you can no, have two. Yeah, as long as it's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's three. Clicks. Yeah, because it's fifteen and it's forty-five, Mike. Mm -hmm. But straight ahead though. Again, you're veering. Yep. yep. Don't, don't veer. Yep, I know. But I want to veer into it. I know you do. <laughs> oh, and you know what? Never mind. Go all the way back. Yeah. Yep. Turn one. Right there. Yeah. Turn About one right. to your. Yeah. Turn. Yeah. You're gonna have to stop right there, basically. Okay. We can stop there. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. We'll attempt to move the Scottish rifles. Mm -hmm. Yep. Eight. Oh, they've been highly motivated. Yeah, you're going to have to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Better make sure I keep them straight here. That now, was there's good. four. That was good. So, two, three. So there's seven... He's going to come run along behind everybody. Yeah, he's going to try. Okay, and then the artillery. Mm -hmm. Is nope. not going to go anywhere. No, sir. All right. And then... Hang on one second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't go outdoors. There are ticks there. Okay. We'll attempt to move the uh, first Royal Dragoons. All right. Six. Mm -hmm. Half move. Yep. Unless their general is nearby, which is not. No. So here's what I'm going to do, Jim, and I, I just before I move anything, I want mm -hmm. you to tell me if it even looks like it's be possible. Mm -hmm. I want to formation, change them into line, mm -hmm. get in them in line this way, facing toward Botha. I don't think that's a problem. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I just didn't want to move. Before well, you've we... got well, no, but you're probably not going to be able to now with just a half move. Now that I think, because I'm at nine inches. You, no, because I'm at, at nine inches. Nine, which is going to mean you're going to eat four and a half of it just to change formation and then you're going to have to pivot is that a 45 degree pivot it might be let me see here one two yeah three. if you can live with that yeah then you'll be fine okay that's why i wanted to clear that up before i even moved anything just to mm -hmm. been this once or twice <laughs> Look about right. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I don't think they had any movement though after all that, right? Or no, no they, they hit. well, no, because it would have been four and a half for the formation change. Right. So they would have had four and a half because there was yeah. No, left. I mean you can go to the edge. That's fine. Okay. I was just trying to get them up to the like nope. within back, the three. back them up though because now you're on the right. You, that's not what you want. That's I see what, what you're saying. saying. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right, we will attempt to move Bethune's mounted infantry. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah. And if they're in line, they can't be in front of the First Royal Dragoons. You're right. F fire over it doesn't work that way. Right. I didn't know if there was enough elevation there. To you might want to keep them there then. So you just yeah. Yep. That's what I was thinking. So. At that's... some point, you're going to oh. be able to roll a five. Yeah. Um, second Royal Dublin, DC oh. Leaders. Yep. Twelve. They are highly motivated. And you said, let's see, we lose three inches hitting three inches here. Up. So we're at nine total. Stick. Yeah. I'll be uh, right back. Actually, nine. If I want, well, yeah, we'll just go ahead and take them all the way up here for now. That'll work. Boom. 
that's everything I've got, Ron. It's over to you. All right, let's go with these guys. Ah, uh, they rally in place, no move. Again. At least they can shoot. All right, artillery. They're gonna unlimber. Yeah. All right, let's try these guys. Mm -hmm. Half. Oh, column full. And then up is three, so that's five and a half. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's interesting, there's not a lot of room on that stretch of dirt. Where these bowers are, there's more room. All right, let's try these boys. I they're moving. Oh no! Well, sorry, they're undisrupted. That's for sure. Nine. Yeah, they're on the nine. Oh, is yeah. Nine is a half move or a full move. Sorry, with an undisruption. Well, yep. Are they a vet or or trained? They're trained. I'm I'm sorry. So what does the the trained recover one mean or the vet recover one if they had lost a base and got that result they would get it back so if he would have rolled a 10 he would have got the base back exactly but then he doesn't gotcha. then he doesn't move he sits still right. and gets a base back gotcha and it had to be undisrupted for that so correct i hadn't noticed that on the chart before so mm -hmm. yeah this. so all right that these guys are staying all right. Man, that's all the movement. Defensive fire, bowers. Booges. Might as well fire with uh, uh, Carolina Commando. I think that was four again. Four with a... And again, it's the skirmisher thing. Is it skirmish to skirmish? Yes. Nope. They don't have skirmishers. Oh, no. So no, it's four right. with a right shift. So a six. Man. No. That's the other reason the bowers are having a bad day. You can't, you know, you've had some good rolls, but most of your shooting has sucked. I don't know. They took out two of our guys. Well, yeah. Took... Yeah. But... But there, 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 there are outlying results that they just haven't gotten. At least they, they haven't had the odds like we haven't failed, though. True, true. Uh, other defensive fire, Velker? Um, this guy's going to be out of arc. Except he moved, so you get to shoot him anywhere along the path. Oh, yes. I'll shoot him back there, right, right, yeah. right where he started. Yeah, right where he started from, sure. It's the battle of uh, low results. This is the battle of low results. Yeah. Um, and the, Asshole, this guy. Yeah. It's the basically when he stepped off, you're going to shoot him. Oh, it, should be, uh, it, was, it was the same number. Yeah, that. It wasn't 20. No, it was 18 with a right shift. Yeah. Um, 18 with a right shift. This one would halt him because he was advancing towards you. Is it still the 18? Oh, yeah, because it's these guys now instead of these guys, right? Mm -hmm. That's what he's doing. Okay. 
Well, no, because it's when it's he dead. stepped off, he he shot him. Oh, it's from the point of step yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. So right. He can he can shoot okay. him at any point in his move. Yep. Okay. So that's a twenty. Ooh, Ooh. That hurt. That's two. That he's gone. Yeah, that'll kill him. Boom. Yay! Whoa. Nice shooting, Valker. Thank you. Thank you. You were saying, Jim? No, there it is. That's that's that's, know, right? that's the that's the stuff I was looking for. Was the those outlying rolls? So that was defensive fire. This guy's got some defensive fire. It ain't much, but he's got it. You want to shoot at those guys? You want to shoot at the guys you did it the last time? The raw guys. Because remember, one has a one has skirmishers and the other doesn't, but one is raw and the other is trained. Right, right. Uh, I think these guys are the better ones. All right, so you're gonna shoot at the raws. So you don't get the shift. Uh, so it's just a straight two. No, you're in range, so it's three. Uh, yeah, you're rolling on the four column. You need eleven or twelve to kill. Huh. Wow. That is yeah. not it. And not it for sure. Let's, let's, let's change All it. your guns burst. I guess. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing there. No nothing there. All right. Uh, I think that's it for the Boers, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I think so. British offensive fire. Where do you want to go? Over here on the right. Yeah, Red, I cannot believe you didn't turn to face that. Um, I'm going to so be, super, are... be super, ahead, super honest with you. Uh, what's your range on that? Three inches, because we had to stop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a total of uh, nine across. Uh, they got skirmishers, do they? They do, do you? You do? Yeah. Nine with a right shift, with a left shift, because they're bowers. So just a straight nine, which is a nine. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. So oh, what you throwing my artillery? Did my artillery? Move? No, but he, he failed his roll. Or was that an activation roll? Look. I apologize. Yeah, no, it's an activation roll, but you no, nope, you didn't move. You can shoot him. Okay, and what about can. the art, the infantry behind him too? Can yeah, can absolutely. They I mean, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. If, he can, if he can see, at least that one base can for sure. The second base can't. Yeah. No, right, but yeah. And hey, so every how base is... how far away is he? How far away? Six, Six point seven. Yes, so that's a two. A nine. So the two. So yep. that's nine plus two, eleven. And how far is the gun? Because that, twelve eight, and again that's direct fire because he is this guy is closer to the ridge than he is to the ridge, so. So that's He's not in the dead ground. Four. Is yep. that right? Yep, nine. Four. So fifteen. Fifteen with a flank shift. Twenty. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, it's not good. It's no bueno. Seven. Seven. That's a single kill. That's a kill. And that wipes him out. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Is that a four or a two? Yeah, it does. That's a... There's two commandos there. It wipes this one. Oh, I see. All right. Now this one, here to here. With the artillery support. And this artillery support. Yeah, well, that artillery. artillery moved. A he unlimbered. Which means he doesn't get to shoot in the offensive phase. No, it's half. Read the thing again. I think you're wrong about that. Pivot and unlimbered at this turn. He didn't pivot. Pivot slash unlimbered. I'm lo I'm not looking at that. I got the rules. You don't sure. take that. Target right. is limbered. Target fire fire eligibility. Correct. You are correct, Ron. Well done. It's only half, though. So. Yeah. So, uh, and what's your range on your guns? On your, uh, your your rifles? Uh, these are above six. It's two apiece. So it's two apiece, so six. The gun is how far out? Under 12. Under 12. And is that a full gun? 
I believe so. How do you know? It's yes, marked, it's, it's marked that way. If it oh, doesn't okay. say 0.5, it's a full. Yeah, it's a full gun. So 6 plus 5 is 11. Plus what? Plus, plus these my two, two guns, that's 24. Which are twos each. Which are two each, that's 4. 11, 15. 15. So it's a flank shift, which washes against the bower shift. 16. Go ahead, Ron. Eight. That's a kill. Wipe out. Yep. Uh, good luck, We're getting there. We're getting there, Mike. Hey. We only need two more victory markers. Yeah, but you got to have them at the end of the game. Yeah. Oh, we got to okay. keep them. There's a, there's a crap ton of bowers up here. <laughs> Where? Oh, those guys. Yeah. They just got to come out of their firing pits first. They're not feeling that right now. All right. All right. Big, big shot. Take on uh, both. Uh, <laughs> again. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Your odds haven't been the best. These are threes. 12, 18. Who else? The odds have been excellent. It's just yep. his. Uh, we got these two cavalry up. Justify it. These two cavalry up front also. Eight. Yeah. Eight plus six is 14 plus 15 which is 33 plus this one in the back which is a three so 36 anybody else nope all right sock shifts you guys got skirmishers yep they're bowers in a fire pit so that's two shifts 25 oh, 25 again yeah it's 25 again come on mike you can do it this time. Break the streak. Nine. There it is. That's cool. Killed him. Uh -oh. And it's both the dead. No, it's it's the wrong part of the phase. Oh. That's right. Well, how... Hey, I'm trying to make Ian's day. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all the offensive fire, I imagine. Or the defensive. <laughs> I keep forgetting where we are. This, offensive is, this fire. is the offensive fire, yeah. Yeah, that's all we have. All right. Mm -hmm. Boar movement. Would you like to go first, Red? Okay. Uh, what is it? The um, Strengthenton uh, Commando? Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's see, we're going to roll for them. Yep, full move. Oh. They are going to pivot and move here. <coughs> All right. Uh, no, I think I'm going to move them uh, way over here. I'm going to pivot and go right across here. And and do remember that the Boers may move as cavalry, but. And this is the, this is the the thing. They move and evade as cavalry. If they move at that speed, they suffer. And if they move at that speed, they suffer a right shift for being a cavalry target if fired on. So they can move twelve or eighteen. It's up to you. Oh, I'm gonna move uh, twelve. Okay. That gives me four. David, they would be masters at sniping, but they didn't turn to face the enemy. There's one. What are you doing? Okay. How are you I'm moving, moving right like that? You don't get to side. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's right. You're right. I can only move this way. All right, why are you giving these guys their flank? They're going to kill you. Okay, because I can't... The, what is it? I've already moved, turned once. If I turn... You can turn again. You've got 12 inches of move. Okay. You lost two... You've already lost one commando because you didn't turn to face him. Hey, how's that? 
Why wouldn't you face them directly? We've got people in the chat wondering why the Boers are so useless. And I'm like, that it's not the fault of the rules. You know what? I, I, I think it's better. Who's next? Is it up to me? I don't know. Reg, you done? Uh-oh. Maybe he's thinking. Hello, Red. You're on Discord. Jim, you should let me make my own mistakes and take the consequences of it. I think for the best part of this, I should just leave the group for a while. As you wish. Velker, it's you. All right. I will not have a game judged poorly because people are playing it badly. Well, I am playing it badly, and I'm sorry about that, but that's the way it is. Okay. I just One of the important things we do is demonstrate games. And I had people in the chat specifically asking why the Boers seem to be so feckless. And they've lost an entire flank because they never had a chance to shoot. All right. Well. Hmm. All right. It's all you, Velker. Guys moved? Well, as a practical matter, they never moved from where they started. So in that case, I'll just turn this Here. way. Yeah, is that right? They started here. So I just have to go ahead and turn this way. Mm-hmm. And it may be entirely too late because Mike's going to shoot the pants off of them. Right. So the idea of moving them away isn't the craziest to try to get them out of range right now. And they did have the ability to move. In terms of shooting? Yeah. It's uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll try to get closer this way. Okay. And you have to, yeah, turn. One, two, three. Do six. Mm -hmm. And that other one is going to do two. Now the problem is you're giving them a flank shot again. Right. So it's no perfect option. But... Well, the other thing you can do is how far did you move to get there? I moved myself. Yeah, you don't want to move that far because he'll kill you again. The point is, and this is the thing I was trying to express to Red, these guys got a 12-inch shot, so they're going to shoot you right. from the flank, which means they're going to get a rear shot. Mm -hmm. You've got to go about halfway back, turn and face them, and hope for the best. You're, you're, you're at least reducing the, down, the, the shifting, right? Yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying. You get out of range of these dudes. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. Assuming those guys don't move up, also though. No, 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 no. But the well, that's true. That's true because he's going to get to move in his offensive phase as a part of the start of four. So is it still your opinion that I should just stand? And... Well, like I say, red screwed you up, um, pretty badly actually, because these guys got to advance this way without ever getting shot at once. Right. Um, by this by this crack group of four commandos. So probably your best bet is to turn around and face them facing this way. Because this guy won't be able to... I don't know. Yeah, this guy won't be able to see you. If what? This, if you keep them shy of this ridge. Oh, because they're... 
You gotta see. This guy will, and that guy will. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll stand. All right. So I'll do like that, and mm -hmm. then yeah. All right. These guys will stand. Mm-hmm. These guys. If I hit the ridge, I get slowed down significantly, right? Well, but no, if you walk along it, you don't. All right, so if I move here... You have to roll to move. Oh, it does. Seven's good? Uh, yeah, seven's fine. No, no advantage, no disadvantage. All right, so I just go to hit here. You keep going. You, so you have 12 inch move. It's down to nine because I went back up the hill, right? It doesn't. No, no, it doesn't drop. Okay. The gentle slope doesn't cost you. I'm not looking pretty. I'm not touching you. Nope. All right. Oh, but I may come over there and touch you. There could be touching. It's true. Not do that, maybe? Alright. <laughs> Alright, these guys. So, hmm. Change of formation is half move, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. And so when I turn, do I just do this? You pivot on the center point, so essentially, yes. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. And also to David, Pump House's point. You got to roll to move, bud. Okay. Sorry. Yep. You're saying David's point? Yeah, and to David's speaking. point, uh, Ron has done a very good job of making Velker make a hard choice here. Mm -hmm. You know, because these guys have very effective shooting, too. So, these guys... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't want to make it easy. Mm -hmm. There's, there's six, seven of you down there. Mm -hmm. Oh, D D David made a point about the boars and sniping. I thought maybe that's what you were... Yeah, that was what I was referring to. That, oh, that, okay. That's what actually started the whole thing, because David made the comment that they seemed very ineffective. And I said, they do. They do, because these guys haven't been able to shoot. And that's because you're hiding below the hill, which is perfectly acceptable. And mm -hmm. remember, the British, one of the things the British did that was so stupid, they kept attacking. Right. And if they, you just attack my foxholes, man. If you attack which, those rifle pits, you're going to get slaughtered. Right. And that's the thing so far, right, is he wasn't able to take out the, the second King's Royal Lanches, right? Right drive them off and the, and the cavalry has been able to stay parked up here and get into a shootout with both those guys mm -hmm. so far i mean yeah we'll see what happens now these guys now mm -hmm. no no they'll be right there those guys mm -hmm. yes they do mm -hmm. He's going to come up on the hill and smack you in the flank. I was not. I'll let what? you go by. Uh -huh. okay. Half. Move your generals. Particularly this one. How much part have you moved? 18. Six. He's hiding in a rifle pit. Who's to blame them? Yeah, I would be too. <laughs> All right, that's my generals. All right. Defensive fire. Got defensive fire here on the right. 
Not sure if... Nope. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. It's actually pretty easy. Okay. You're way back of that thing, yeah. Okay, no, I, I was just double-checking. Checking the arc so of fire. These three guys He's are... out of arc. Okay, that's fine. I, I, yeah. That's what I was trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. I didn't have it measured off right. I think these guys... Nope. No? No, not those. That Those guys... Well, he moved. Never mind. Where he was... Yeah, you're fine. Okay, so this base and these three bases. Yeah. Uh, you're at. What are you six? Yes, yeah, less than six. Easy, easy. So that's six or nine. And then. Two, I think. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah, maybe two. Eleven. They get a shift because they're bowers. You have skirmishers. You do. So eleven. Is that including the cannon? Cannon ain't in. There's no arc. Five. Miss. Yeah. Wouldn't matter anyway. Okay. Other defensive fire? All right. These guys. Cannon. That's three, six, nine. Yep. Cannon's 12 inches, well, less than 12. So uh, 9, 14. Are you, are you adding in your naval guns? Mike? Mike? Oh, yes. Yes. 18. Yep. You got your artillery there too, Ron? Yep. 18 with two left shifts. So 12? 12, yep. Roll it on. Yes, that's exactly what I didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing there. I'm only laughing because I did this, I do the same thing, right? All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. These guys shoot over here. Twos. Eight. Yep. You can throw in your artillery, Ron. Yes, that's twelve. Uh, that's going to be indirect. That's going to be indirect fire. That's fine. Okay, so that's eight plus fifteen, twenty-three. That's another two. No, that's another four. Twenty-seven. Aren't they further from the roof than you? Right, which is why he's firing indirectly. Okay. I, I just thought you couldn't shoot if you... Yeah, no, he's firing. These guys can't shoot because they're in the lee of the hill. But these guys can because they're on the same level. And then he's got a ton of artillery parked out there. 27 with one, two, left, three left shifts. Oh, is this gun part of yeah. these guys? Yeah. Yeah. Wrong he's he's got to he's got to be we... he's got to be uh, limbered. So column sixteen, Jim. Uh, how many left shifts though? We were at twenty seven. Three. Twenty seven, which is thirty, so it's a sixteen. Seven. Nothing. No, sixteen. That's kill. Yep. Does not wipe those guys out. Nope. But it does take away their skirmishers. Ah, we cured the skirmies. We did cure the skirmies. <laughs> All right. Got them far enough away from the river. That helps. I yeah. think that's it for the defensive fire. Yes, sir. Velker, offensive fire. Which guys? Fortunately, you lose your right shift. So it's what's the range? Less than six. Yeah. So that's going to be nine. 
record along with the gun? No, that gun no. has to unlimber. Uh, nine. So it is a nine no shift. Good luck. Ooh, that's good. That's kill. Hey. And as I said, had you shot at those guys, they would not be spent. No, I wouldn't have been able to hit them because they have skirmish. Oh, do they? Oh, okay. Yeah. That was the difference. Good man. That's why good. You... Well, good shot anyway. Oh, and a disruption. Wait, did these guys... Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they got to re-roll. They're disrupted. Actually, no, he re he well, rolled it. He doesn't have to re-roll. We just got to figure I, it up on I the got chart. A nine. He got a, you rolled a nine, and he had a five, six, nine. So it's just a disruption on you. Not a kill. Skirmishers, skirmishers, even Stevens, six. I'll take a look real quick in the rules, see if I am missing anything at all, but I don't think I am. Yeah. No, that's it. All right, so it's, uh, what's the range, Felker? Um, less than six. It's below six. Below six, okay. So it is six, no shifts. Six, no shifts. No, it's nothing. Okay. And who else? That's going to be nine, no shifts. Uh, they got skirmishers? No, they don't. Interesting. They do. Uh, nine. Oh no, I'm looking the wrong way. Duh. So that's uh, six. Six with a right shift. So nine. Nothing. That was the Boer movement, which means we're on turn four. British movement. All right. We'll start here with the uh, First Rifle Brigade. Four. Nope. No movement. Okay, we'll try the second Scottish Rifles. Nine. Full. They got full movement. I'm just thinking here for a moment. Give me a moment. Just remember, you're going to hit that radius pretty hard, depending on what you do. Right, I know. I may have to move once and then um, turn next Next turn. I was trying to think about this here for a moment. I got 12 inches. No. Just got to clear these guys. So that'll just put me there, and then I can make some rotation. Well, now I'm going to have to clear it a lot further than that. That's seven. That was three for the free movement. There. Okay. And then the um, seventh battery down there. Mm -hmm. Nine. Mm -hmm. Have to limber. Yeah, but if I just want to rotate him, mm -hmm. leave him in place, just getting him into arc. That's fine. Because he's already in range, so. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And then we'll do something here with the Royal Dublin Fusiliers. Mm -hmm. Seven. Full move. You know you can go up this, right? Yeah, I just was trying to figure out if, if it was worth it, though. Well, eh, I mean, if you can go around this way, it's going to take you a while. Yeah. You can change formation and go this way. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I'm going to go up there, I want to change formation. I would so, change formation. So I still get six, so that I... No. I'd have... Change formation. I'd be down to six. Getting up here would be three. So I yeah, you're not. You're, yeah, you're not going to really get that far. You're not going to get that far, but at least you have your formation change. You'll be ready for yeah. next time. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do the formation. I mean, it's no difference than, than going around because it'll just take just as long. Right. Yeah, I might as well make my facing change with the formation change, eh? That's correct, eh? Wait a minute, we're British, not Canadians. That's it. Get at least one base up there to help support. That's all my move. Uh, yeah, because I don't know that there's much reason to move the cavalry. Not right now, there's not. Oh, I just need to roll the disruption. Yeah, you do have to roll. Yeah. Uh, Six. Ooh. Rally in place. No Do move. not move. Okay. Oh, that's what you wanted, so. Yeah. Beats, yeah. beats some of the alternatives. Okay, Ron. Over to you, All sir. right. We're going to start with my left here, Jim. All right. Nice. Exactly what I did. No, it's serious. Yeah, no, it's exactly what I wanted. All right, oh. formation change. Mm -hmm. Going to line. Oh, yeah. I was say, are you going to move them up on the hill? When I get into line. Okay. I didn't know if you'd move them and then just put everybody in line after after you move the initial base. Big unit. It helps having drawn those guys out of uh, their rifle pits. Yeah, that's what I was waiting. That's all I get. Those boys wow, like, I just you know, crap. Where did those guys come from? Yep. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. Well, this is gonna be one turn of fire coming at him. We'll see where Velker can roll. Yeah. Oh yeah, I kind of figured that. I was more worried about this thing too, adding to it. But since he limbered it. All right, these guys next, Jim, up on the little peak there. Mm -hmm. yep. Finally, they want to do something. All right. Um. Formation change. All right. Thank you, Velker, or whoever that is. Okay, so right there. All right, these gentlemen. Half. Uh, well, I guess it's better than nothing.
I think that's all I got for moving. Yeah, that's it. All right, Velker, you got a boatload of defensive fire. It's going to matter this time, too. Where do you want to start? The keel or the bow? Gigantic amount of defensive fire for you, sir. Here, I suppose. Curious if they both have skirmishers. Yeah, they do. So, six, no shift. Yeah, that's not your, that is not your best shot, but it's what you got. Six, no shift. Ooh. Ooh. That's a kill. Yeah. Nice. Well, there you go. They died in not vain. That could help. You never know. Especially like me and Mike's been rolling. It's a little British. Marker's a little wrinkled. You need to flatten it out. No, it's, a, it's, it's a flag. It's a fluttering flag, dude. I was choking. It's fluttering. Yeah. It's Ours fluttering. It's just you need an iron. Color you need an iron. You got to iron out the wrinkle on your flag. Uh, <laughs> six shift to the right. Nine. And we're within three. Yeah, uh, that's, that's still, I think the highest you get is a three. Yeah. So it's just... Nine. Oh, okay. Nothing. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. okay, get that out of your spirit. No, that's not, you can't, you don't. Why can't he? He's exhausted. He still gets a half. Oh, that's right. I always forget that. So... Nine up at these guys? Because they are the ones without the skirmishers. Right. Yep. Nine, have five. Five with the right shift, six. That's not the worst. Seven. On a seven. Nope, only raw. Okay. Um, now, guys. yeah, everybody shoots pretty much here. We got this guy. We got these three right here. Yeah. How, what's the range on these guys in the back? Are they in, they go from the center. Yeah, they're from center. No, no, no. They're just a little bit over six. Are they? This center. Yeah, just, just over six. Okay, because that, that's going to be two then. Four. Ten. Fourteen. No, I'm doing math wrong. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. You guys got skirmishers? No, I don't think so. 16 with a right shift. This is this is a big one. 20. Come on. Eight. That is a kill. Okay. And a disorder, of course. If you would have got nine, that would have been two kills. I was going to say. Ah, really? Yeah. Okay, Ron, it, it may matter which side you want to take it off of. Suck. All right. Well, we know there's going to be a whole lot of uh, offensive fire, so let's have it. All right. We'll start here on the right. So the six inch. Or Everybody's over inside three inches. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Plus the artillery down here, which is at. So nine, five is 14. Uh, plus four for the artillery. He's within 18. 18. 18. He's got skirmishers. You've got skirmishers, right? I do believe so. He's a bower, so he shifts. 18 would go to 20. 20 goes back to 16. Six. Six is a disruption. Disruption. Okay. Ryan, I'm going to do the center. Yes, I do. All right. Artillery support. Four. Got three, six, one, two, three. That's 12 right here. 12 plus four is 16. A 
What's his range? I believe it's uh, another 12. So that's another 5. 21. Did you get your artillery, the Navy yeah. gun? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. thank you. Yeah. Sorry. That's 20, because it's a left shift. Making that, it's interesting, making that 21 is a big deal. And does that cancel the right shift from the flank or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's 25. Of course. Yeah, that's a kill. That's a weapon. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yep. That shift helped. Barely. At a minimum, you would have disrupted him without yeah. the flank shot. So, all right. all right. So, these guys against these guys. That's eight. I don't think these guys have a shot. Wait, these guys are within six. So that's twelve. Uh, he yes. is. He is. He's not. You got a split fight. So that's okay. four plus three. Four plus six is ten. Those guys can't see anything. Ten plus fifteen is twenty-five. Plus four, twenty-nine. Those guys got skirmishers. We don't. do not. So that's going to be two left shifts, three left shifts. So 16. That's what it was last time. Yep. Mm. Yep. Ah, seven. Oh, that's, that's a kill. kill. Yeah, that's a kill. Still doesn't wipe them out, but... But that does... Oh, what do you get for Fragile? Fragile just matters yeah, in melee. Ah, uh, okay. But they are spent. Because train takes two hits and is spent. All right. What are the other two? That's it. After spent, you're done. Spent just kind of hangs over you like a cloud. For the marker. Hmm? For the marker. Oh, you can. It's, it's a multi purpose marker thingy. Uh, <laughs> No, no, it's got different uh, states. Too. All right, these just. Oh yes, I forgot. Who are they shooting at? <laughs> Vilker's having way too much fun. Here. I see that. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Nine. Time. So it's nine. Right, nine. And Plus, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a mortar shot. Ray, uh, are you within three inches? You are, oh, man. No, I'm just beyond three inches. Yep, because if you're in three inches, you can't do that. Right. So the mortar at range adds what? It's under 18, so let's see. That's a four. Nine, 13 with two left shifts. So 20 goes back to 12. Oh! Wow! That's two kills. Wow! Is he targeting these guys. That's a wipeout. Yeah. You overachieved that time, Ron. I know, and that's actually a low ammo, isn't it? Yep. Mm-hmm. Ron and I's shooting rolling's been so low, we haven't had to worry about it for so long. I know, right? <laughs> they come up and go, surprise! We wanted to give the bowers a nice hug. It's going to be interesting, because you got to get those guys out of here now. Yeah. That's actually... Why's you got to get them out? Because otherwise they can't shoot? I thought it was just at a mine. No, no, no. because they're disrupted. No, that's that's artilleries. That's artillery. 
Yeah, I'm about to say they can still they can defensive fire for sure, right? Uh, don't believe so. Because I was able to in that Napoleon battle a few weeks ago. That's that's what it, that's why I was able to hold on to. Well, low the ammo guys fire at ha at half. So. In the de in the defensive phase, that's it. They right. don't fire. They do, they can't fire in the offensive phase. That's what it is. Oh, okay. But you can always change formation and charge. Yes, that's true. That's true. Why change? I could charge in friggin' line formation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That it. Oh, uh, true, 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 true. yeah, I believe so. Bore half of the turn movement. All right. He's also spent, unfortunately. Oh, that's going to be bad. Uh, so, because he is fragile, minus, and because he has spent minus three, what did you roll? Three. Zero. He loses a base, and so he's dead. He leaves. Next. That's going to be a disrupt him. He's fragile, though, again. So it comes out to a six, I think. Yep. Rally in place, no move. Yep. Which is pretty much what you want to do. No. Speed bumping. Alright. How many turns is this battle? Eight. What turn is it We're on... This is half. We ain't, we ain't going to eight. No. <laughs> no. I mean, this is probably the last turn anyway. Yeah, well, we'll see. I might make the British do one more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna force us. I'm gonna make you guys do one more. Yeah. Any, any other any other movement, Volker? I don't think so. All right, move your generals. You could have charged, Volker. <laughs> Just kidding. No, you're not. I'm not <laughs> Ron, you forgot who you're making that suggestion to. Yeah, I was gonna oh, say. Oh no, I know. I was gonna say. If he was on horse, he would definitely have charged. All right. If defense. I was on horse, I would have ran. That's why I gave you the horse. Defensive fire. Michael Start over here. Yep. So, we've got our defensive fire over here. All right. So, I forgot what we had for. Her. Yeah, it's three time. six nine half to five three six nine fourteen. Let's What's your artillery? Eighteen. Eighteen and a single left shift because they're bowers. Oh, they're skirmishers too, and you don't have or do you have skirmishers? Yes, I do. All right. So eighteen with a single left shift because what they're bowers. Uh, 20, so back to 16. Nine. That's a kill. Yeah, it is. Okay. Next. Um, do we have defensive fire against this artillery that's lumbered? Sure. Do we have one unit here at least? No. No, center point. No. You, you can't see him. He can see okay. you. You can't see him. Okay. Well, then maybe we don't. Do we? They do. Okay. Yeah, you guys are on the same yep. height. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so those guys... Those are two. So, yeah. Eight. I'm going to throw the artillery in, Ron. They're a little heavy. I can't really throw them myself. But yeah, I'm going to put them in. Yeah. Eh, you sound pretty light. <laughs> I am. And again, this is uh, this is all indirect fire. So eight, twenty-three, twenty-seven. Right shift because it's limbered artillery, unfortunately, but left shift because it is um, indirect fire. Twenty. We're at, so it would have been at I, thirty. So it's, it stays at thirty. 
At 30? Yeah. He'll kill his gun. Seven. Yeah, it does. That's a kill. Yeah. To wipe out. Yep. That's two kills. Mm -hmm. Oh, it does. So these guys can still defensive fire? Yep, at a quarter. So, I was going to say, uh, can I have a nickel? <laughs> Switch Sorry, just trying to, that, yeah, I know, right? Just trying to make it funny. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Actually, four. let's see some. Four. So five. Yeah, two. they're all within six. So oh, yeah. One, so two, three, four, five, six. That's 18. So it's five. Five, yeah, correct. Five plus add in Mr. Howie. Oh. Who is Howie? Add the four. Nine with a. Uh, with two. Yeah, with two left shifts. So four. And a four. It's a four. Yep. I'll give it a shot. Nope. Not. Okay. That's it. You'll start not taking the shot. Defensive fire is over. Yeah. yeah. Alright, Velker, offensive fire. Offensive fire. This is the Yeah, that party. So that's uh those lads are those lads are six. Oh, well, the other guys are dead. Holy cow. Yep. Uh, six plus four, that's ten. Yeah, you do, so that's a right shift. Anything else? So. Ten with a right shift, twelve. Oh, no, sixteen. Nine. Nine. Another one kill. You just missed another double again. Seventeen. Will you stop. And they're oh, and they are spent. Uh, can you give me back my point? Is that what I want? What point is that? What point is that? That, uh, that one. That no. Then I'm not gonna stop shooting. <laughs> <laughs> no, in fact, we're gonna take away some more here real quick. Well, you ain't, you, ain't do, you, ain't, you ain't doing nothing over here, I guarantee you that. Well, I suppose these guys could, but, <laughs> but those those guys be... those guys over here ain't doing much of nothing. Nope. The, uh, okay, and I think Velker... It's done. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we'll call it there. It's uh, 9 o'clock. It and a... it's a win for me. Let's go. It's a, it's a Velker win. Yeah, no. Um, you know, I... I think, I think the Boers basically have to, I think, first of all, I have to let the Boers turn these to face better at setup. Because otherwise we shoot at nothing and we have yeah, to. Yeah, they, they, they clearly have to be able to face better because if they were facing this way, it's a different game. And I also yeah. think these guys need to be able to face differently too. Because I'd be facing these Because if they were facing, guys. because I can see no reason for these bowers to leave those fire pits because we saw given the scale of this game when those guys came over the ridge they got shot to ribbons right mm -hmm. yep you know when they came over that ridge this they got absolutely shot to pieces seven guys got beat by bowers yeah no that's that's this feels very right to me parenthetically but they do need to be able to face the right way although again because they're so far back the ranges won't be as good but this is still going to be a very, very bad time for the British. Well, just, just as Ron and I had discussed, though, we, you know, once we started securing the center here a lot better, and the right, our right flank was was starting to move, there really wasn't a need for us to push up over here. Well, then that takes me to the screw out. up. That takes me to the screw ups over here, which you were given, Mike. I mean, you're just this was a gift, right? So. Why, why right. this, this guy sat here, why this guy spent one minute here is utterly past me. Right. That, that actually, I was, I almost started commenting about that. There is, I get it. This is the road to Ladysmith over here. Right. This is, this is, I think, you know, this is two really good commandos 
that did nothing. Mm-hmm. They they've got to be, they they've got it? to oh, be no, yeah. to me well to me they've got to be coming around the other side of this hill over here. You got this way too easy. Yep. You got. Oh, I don't disagree. And you got a crazy flank over here for free. So and he had these. He had these two commandos that just sat here too. Yep. I mean, I would have. I would have tried to bring them up here to the edge and at least thrown you, some you, firepower you, in with these guys. You right. You drove around them. You literally drove around right. them. No. Right. I mean, that's yeah, what I'm so saying. Though, I, I like, so, so that is why you had peace of mind over here. You know, and I'm not in any way criticizing the British. Don't get me wrong. You take what is given to you. <laughs> it's, mm. you well, know. it helped that that Ron got up here on the on the. Yeah, no, zero. that's a big deal. Did, that is a and, and that's, didn't get and did not get driven off because that allowed us to get. You know, I got the cavalry up here and was like, if I can get rid of both, uh, and yeah, I, I don't know to, how you know, I feel I about. To, I don't know how I, I feel to, about this fire pit. I honestly or rifle pit. Yeah. Is this uh, and I probably it, w- was this a scenario that's still in development or is this a mature? Well, it, there's it. It is mature. It's very popular. Okay. Okay. Night, Ian. And then also, I just couldn't... see. I used the I used the cavalry here as a uh, screen for these infantry to come up because now it's going to turn them and go we right there. Yeah. Yeah, because Ron and I actually talked about trying to get the cavalry over here. The Boers yeah. are actually using uh, Doug. The Boers are actually using smokeless powder, and that's why they get a left shift. Good night, Ian. Take care, man. Hope you're doing Good night, well. Good night, Ian. You know, so the the point is though, and Achilles is making it. The Boers have to try to get themselves interlocking fields of fire to the best of their ability. Right. Which yeah, because especially because the only thing we have truly had to come up this road here, in the center. Was the naval guns. Right. And you're not doing there that. Was, There's no need for you to do that. Not without infantry or cavalry support. Right. But they and, can, but they can with, also shoot. Right. But that's what I'm saying, though, right, is they were in, in range of these guys right here. So as long as we were able to combine fire, and there was something to shoot at within range. There was no need to move. These guys over here were out of range. If I wanted to get into. Yeah. And, I, them, and, I I, to, and, and this is where I have to accept some of the criticism um, taking a look at, take a look, Velker, at, um, let's see, which one do I want to take? Let's just take the Pretoria Commando. Where are they? I think they're off the board, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. This plateau, Tabanyama, they've just got it. They can be anywhere on here. Oh, wow. So I could have had more than six, but they just got to be more than six inches from the west edge. So you could have stuck them here. You could have run them like this. Right, yeah, I probably would have had them pretty close to what you have right there. I'd probably just have it as an arc right here. Yeah. That's interesting, because they show this. I want to be clear where I got it from. They show this. Right. Right? Which, that may be the historical position. I don't know. But what? But, to me, I to or Velker's earlier point, I don't know why they're shooting at a swamp. Because you ain't coming through that swamp. Right. Heck no. To me, if it's just got to be greater than six inches off of here, I'm just, you know, I'm going to do that. Now come and get me. Now come and get this. And again, to your point, you're right. You can come up here, but, well, shoot. I mean, as long as I'm on top of you, I could do it here. Right. In which case, I'm probably going to do a murder on you guys. Well, if we come up over this way, right? Well, no, but e- either well, way, either way, I could shoot yeah. you over here. Right. As you start poking but your head out. But if he gets close enough to this edge, Ron could, they could engage each other this way too, you right? Before you do that, because I'm going to have angles like this. Yeah. Yeah, Velker's right. I mean, oh, if, if, yeah. you're, if you're parked here, which he could legally be, he's, he's going to shoot this whole thing. I'm going to have this whole arc of fire. It's a very weird be. setup map. I think the map kind of, well, I try to follow maps when I'm giving them, you know? And I, I, but I, yeah, I'll take that. But no, I like this. I, I think there's some stuff to learn here, but I, I like this game and I like this scenario. I really do. Which uh, kind of surprises me, Jim, because I thought the first time we played Big Bloody Battles, what was it, with Katra Bra? Mm-hmm. I didn't think you were overly enthusiastic about the rule set. Oh, no, on the contrary. I, my criticism, which is sharp and I wrote about, 
is Ron's. I know what... Ron was starting to feel it down here in the valley. It's the activation. Uh -huh. It's uh, the activation. Yeah. But we didn't feel it too much, actually. No, I mean, no. Had, it, it definitely well, averaged out. And I got the Calvary, and, and I got the Calvary passed, and, which was fine, because, like we said, is the Calvary being able to shoot with their repeating rifles. So yeah, now, now, I, now, I, now I'm curious. I want to hear from all three of you. If you are the Boers, where do you... If, if indeed your instruction is... I'm just looking at this now, since you have a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I just want to see what they're talking about. I'm really curious about this. The repeating rifle, just for reference, mm -hmm. has a two up to a range of 12 inches. Yep. So, I, I, I would just if, looking if, that up just for reference. If indeed I tell you that for these guys, and what I'll do is I will shut this off and do something drastic. Watch me do something drastic. Isn't it right on the screen? No. Oh, oh God, I hate it. Pal. Okay, Volker, you go first. What 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 what's the line that we have to, to use? Six inches. Probably you have to be inches. on this this finger of land. Yep. Uh huh. Six inches off the edge. So I mean, you know, almost nothing. You're not gonna be back here, I know that. Velker, show me where you would put one two three fire uh, it's actually only three of them because that somebody else is next to the other guy show me three rifle pits like this probably okay oj where would you put them uh, i don't know that i would disagree too much with what velker did I was just curious to see if anybody does anything different. All right. This is what I would do. Where are yours? Okay, because you know yeah. you're blind this way. Oh, okay, you're moving stuff. Sorry. And these other rifle pits would still have been here, right? Both of them would yes. have been here. Yeah. Like that. Only reason being is oh wait a minute. Yeah. Cause now they still have to spend a three and just get up here. Yeah, the only one that actually is it turns out that has to be where it was was the Utrecht commando, which does have to be here. So I kinda like Vilker's placement of this one a little bit better closer to here. Because it gives a better you fire here and, and supports Ut yeah, if you're coming up this way, though, you're still able to friggin'. Yeah. But then you lose out on this area. True. Yeah. And what are you defending here? Guys can't Don't forget, if they're moving up this way, you can shoot them right there as they're moving. Sure. Well, you're going to have to shoot them, you know, when they're... Gr so basically, you're three inches from the ridge, right? So they're going to hit your blind spot there three right so there's your blind spot that's the lee of the hill oh wait i can rake so we can just get straight in this area and we can't see anything from there right i mean you could have started engaging with that one rifle pit before the guys crossed the crick almost Right. with those two. Right? And then this as, as soon a... as they got across as they crossed the crick then you would have had yeah. more Yep, four four mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, tell me, there... I, I don't know that the map is bad. It's just the map disagrees with the written descriptions, right? The map... Show the, sure. show the map again, sure. if you don't mind. Thanks. No, no. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's just that comments. this is what the map shows, and this, is, this could be where the historical stuff was. But the map, so... the instructions say that um, Utrecht is where it is on Green Hill, but then Operman... The gun that Operman's got, um, the Kruger's Dorp, 
the Germans, and Heidelberg. Oh, there is one more. So there's actually four of them. Pretoria, right? Yeah, that's yeah, why I was they're, wondering. They're all was dug in on Taban, Tabanyama, greater than six inches from the western edge. So, And I think Pretoria was a four unit, wasn't it? A four yeah, unit? that's the big one, yep. Yeah, yep. One. So, I mean, if you would have brought them over to here, taken this. Here. I probably would have put the four right here, just on this edge. Right. So yeah. Yeah, because that's a that's a great point. Because now you're dug in up on a hill. Yeah, come get me. Yeah, I would have taken this. One, yeah, and then I would have taken this one. Well, remember you had this one here too, Velker, because this here was Pretoria. Both of these together were Pretoria, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Velker, I, I no. What, what, what? Well, no, Velker. I would have taken this one and put it right here where you were going to. Yeah, and I would have left this guy. I think I would have left this guy facing this way because if we came up over here, you wanted something facing that direction, right? That's my thought. I mean, until he comes up the hill, that guy just kind of needs to go. But, I mean, even right here, you've still got Arc of Fire going this way. Anybody that, yeah, because then anybody that sneaks up onto Spion Cop is going to get shot at. Yeah, so this whole line, just anyone coming from here. I mean, even if you wanted to take this one rifle pit and shift it a little bit, right? You could. Because you could still have fired at anything coming up over here. Because remember, Ron and I started off with um, Calvary oh, Achilles, right here. Achilles, who bear, bear in mind, is an actual military guy, likes your system. Velker. Thank you. He said, uh, he, I want to shoot those guys as they cross the river if possible. Mm-hmm. If you can't shoot at me, then I can't die. <laughs> now, that's, that's were those rule. the only were those the only unit units that had a choice where they sat up from the boar side? Uh, no. Well, let's take a look at the other guys then. Um, what's the rule on those boys? The boys on the other end. Johann Schmutz. Uh, yeah, let's do Smuts. Uh, do, 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 do. what's it? What's the name of one of his commandos? Uh, oh, there it is. The Amel the Ermelo Commando. They're dug in on the ridge east of Cronier's Commando. Cronier is east of the Leidenberg Commando. Yep. Uh, well, Leidenberg is east of Carolina, and Carolina is on Twin Peaks. Yep, that's, that's pretty much what it shows. Yeah. So, now, Smuts wasn't dug in, though. He was... His yeah, guys was. were in the open. Yeah, he was. Oh, I didn't think there was rifle. There's no rifle. Pits. Uh, they there. just no. He's he should be dug in. There's no pits here. Where I'm sorry. Right here. Oh wow. There's no rifle. Oh no no. I I'm sorry. It's these guys. I was thinking of these guys. Yeah, Smuts is not dug in. Okay. Okay, Johan. Yeah. So so he just had to be here because the other thing that we didn't do is the fourth light over here with um, um, Lytleton. Mm -hmm. You said he could have moved up further, right? But yep. did he have to start in column, or could he? Have fourth, no, formation? you can start in any formation you want. But right. the fourth light brigade. Well, technically, I could have brought him up here and started him in in mass already, ready. For it. The fourth light brigade Rook. with no, 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 no. You've got to be within twelve inches of that southeast corner. Right, twelve inches is all the way up here to the Ford. Oh, southwest corner, corner. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. That you could, you could have Ford. started on the Ford. Yep. Sure. Jim, I just I just thought of something. You said you can set up six. Where's north? North this way? I'm checking. North. <laughs> okay. You say you started six inches west. These guys, six inches west, right? Which means six inches from this, from the edge of this mountain. So you have to start in within six inches. Within or outside of? No, 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 no. From the edge. But you said from the west. Yeah, but uh, that's true. Well, that's even more generous, honestly. It's well, got to no, be—it's got to be more than. Right, and if it's the edge of the table versus the edge of the mountain, I think is what Ron's saying. Correct. So this side's the west side of the table. Which right. We, we so determined. he's fine, and it, that can't be is right that, unless they mean the west edge of the. No, they must. He must mean the west edge of Tanayama. That's what I'm saying. See where my six inches is. So now that changes those fire pits again. You can still move them up. 
a little bit farther up. Yeah, he but... can't. He can't mean the map. He must mean Tanayama. Yeah. Because hide then then hide is about all the further that he can go from where he's at. No, because you could put him anywhere you want. You could you could string him pretty generously here. Right, you can. Do, that's what I'm saying. You can do it here. You just can't do it at the edge. Yeah. But you can do it here. Yeah, that's so that's that's, that's what they mean. Sure. Okay. But still, All I, right, think, good. I, I think at a minimum, getting the, getting the rifle pits facing a different direction would have given you some, and, and, and crept up here as close as you could to this. And then line. this this becomes a really interesting choice, because this guy has to be here. Okay, the troops that are there have to be there, but this this at this those three can be anywhere as long as they're east of each other okay and up on the ridge yes yeah well but actually even... yeah well what's red's first turn should have been taking these guys here and just moving them this way yep and facing and facing mike right i mean they're not in fire pits i mean if he's worried about the fight they weren't in fire pits so that means they weren't getting any advantages anyway, so I'll move them this the, way. The only other thing I would think about doing is moving them off the ridge and moving them over here. Right. Right. And, and, and that's what I was going to say, too. You, you had two options. You needed to start them here at the ridge edge, right? So they could combine power with Johan against Lytle. Mm. Or you need to be ready to move, move them back here to cover the flank if once they got past Yeah, basically Johan. acknowledge that Johan is toast. But here's the thing, though. If, if Kranji doesn't have to start here, he can move along this ridge. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got four. He's got four bases. What if he started over here? For some... Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I you know, you know or, I, or at least I, like here. I just want him to face and shoot. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted but, no. I, I wanted these two freaking commandos to shoot at somebody. Right. I mean, you could have started with with Smut like right here. And then Kronky could have been at least like this or something. He would have been close enough to the edge to. Yeah, that would work. He would have barely reached the, you know, I mean, there were some things there that could have been done a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Or if nothing else. Right. Into That's... rifle pits like this. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just remember that um, Kronya. It, Smuts is not... See, the one that strikes me is Smuts because he's not dug in. Right. If if I'm dug in, I'm thinking about how I can take advantage of that. Because that, that left shift is huge. Mm-hmm. You know? that I want that left... I was also... Oh, especially... The other I thing I was... I was... Just didn't have time to look at is just how beneficial rifle pits are. I'm now looking... I don't know that they were all that beneficial. They provided, what was it? They provided a shift. They are entrenched. That should have been two left shifts for them. Ah, I see, so that was different. Yep, those are two left shifts. Okay, so number one mistake, not putting these quite where they should be, although this isn't as crazy as it looks now that we know that six inch thing. Although these guys are still too far back. Yeah. Yeah. They were easy. Yeah, those guys, those guys can be up here, and then when you move, when you shink those guys over here, and everybody else shinks over this way. I think we agree. You could put a lot of force in there, and the number two is the fire pits getting to that. That both those things would have made a big difference. They that would have messed up a lot of. Uh, this firing up here too i apologize where do you see the the fire pits count as a trench for no no they're not rifle pits they are entrenched i i've modeled oh. them as rifle pits but they are entrenched. Gotcha. it says specifically okay. the guys are entrenched you're looking at the scenario rule gotcha yeah. well no and in fact though if you take a look under fortifications 3.4 Fire against a unit in an entrenchment receives two left shifts. 
And that's what they had. I just modeled them as rifle pits. Interesting stuff. Well, it says, well, it says here, fire against a unit in rifle pits. They're not rifle pits, Mike. They're entrenchments. Right, right, right. Okay, sorry. Yes. They're just modeled as rifle pits. The entrenchments to left. Yes. Yeah, no. Got you. So. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that would have kept Kranji from getting this far over is Smuts had to be to his east up here on the ridge. But still, mm -hmm. I, I think I would have... Well, Achilles is pointing out that, uh, you know, Smuts's mobility allows him to, you know, move where he can to catch the British with massed fire. Yep. Well, and and we were kind of log jammed trying to get across the, the fort here, right? Yep. Because I can only get one unit up here to effectively provide fire. Interesting stuff. Good stuff, kids. Good stuff, kids and campers. And a, and a nice victory for the British. I mean, like I say, for all the faults and all the misunderstandings and stuff like that, I think the British pursued a great strategy. I think they, they fought bravely. And uh, we, uh, I think this feels like a switch sides battle, and we'll get Achilles to join in and uh, join Volker, and he, they can play the British. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. That, now that we know we'll, we'll how get a, work. And yeah, we'll get, a, we'll get a switch sider um and and have that again and know a little bit more about the setup and things like that what do you think achilles sound good anyway um thanks everybody seriously for showing up and watch we had a nice crowd tonight it was great um really interesting battle great to watch what's going on um wednesday still don't know uh -oh. i still don't know uh check the uh check check the what halls thank you brant um, check, check, check the what alls and see what's going on. Achilles said he would love to. I don't know. Should we do this on Wednesday? No, can. Long. It took a while. It took it's a, well, we can always do two Wednesdays. That's true. You know, I split it. Maybe we, maybe we try a Wednesday. Yes. And do a Actually, math. Yeah. I don't know that it took us that long though tonight. No. Three no. hours. We, we, we got it done in just over three hours and. There you go. And so we especially so if going into this if if you know the, yeah the we all know the know. setup and yeah hey Jim if if you can maybe send out the, the scenario rules if you got a copy of them to to us sure you know I mean that way we can kind of yeah because they're they they are free and available at the I O group for um, our friends at Bloody Big Battles who we like hey take care has good night and um, so we can all get together and give that a try. And then Thursday, unfortunately, we will not be able to do the Thursday Night Throwdown. Velker and I will be locked with his mother in Mortal Kombat with the scheduling of his classes at his high school. We will be there. Uh, so, we may, so we may check out Friday or something like that to see what the word is. We'll, we'll check it out. Just remember, no matter how much planning and scheduling you do here in the winter spring, first day of class first week of class you're gonna be scrambling to fix it there that's a fact <laughs> that's the truth but on saturday 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 um we are going to try 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 the dumbest game ever designed for a plumber <laughs> for a plumber or by a plumber for a plumber it's dpg <laughs> it's dpg the dumbest plumber game um, <laughs> And uh, so we're, we're going to get together and try the 1809 campaign for Snappy Nappy. We, um, we, we will have the opportunity. I, <laughs> there's nothing quite like being up on a Saturday at <laughs> Bayonet. How the heck are you already in high school? Magic. Magic, brother. The, um, he said it all in caps with many question marks. Oh, wow. Of course, this is the guy that's got a, a kid in college. Yeah, you got a kid in college, brother. But anyway, um, what? There's nothing quite like playing or designing games, and suddenly you get a you get a text over Steam chat from Dalinor saying, hey, "You know, I was thinking about that 1809 game." I'm like, oh, "Okay." And you so, should have just stopped right there. Yeah, you quit reading it. <laughs> hey, just completely ignored it. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Uh, at Tommy McGuire's advice, good night, good luck, Velker. Don't take any hard classes at eight o'clock in the morning, or right after lunch, or before lunch. That's that's a, all good notes. But no, the um, what we're gonna do, what, and so we think, 
we have figured out fog of war. We think we figured yes, it out. It seems like we have. Yes. Um, it'll be a little intricate, and it's going to involve, as weird as this is, probably having to send messages to me as the umpire over Discord chat. So we will we will see. <laughs> Bayonet was typing. Says the guy who has a freshman in college. So um, so we will see if this works. It probably won't, but who cares? We'll try. Hey. Don't say that. I think it will. <laughs> I believe. Please, if you are interested in playing in that game, go to the forum. We're probably going to need, I think, six players. Six? It's probably right. And probably. folks will have multiple. You're in that, right? What's that? You're the 1809 for Snappy Nappy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it should be. Because Jeff wants okay. to play for sure. Uh, Velker wants to play. We'll, I, I think we'll get some others and get us an Achilles hopefully next week. And, yes, uh, need a chrono and get a chrono. Maybe. Get a chrono. I yeah, hope. chrono, chrono. Hey, we're he, calling you guys out. Yeah, we're calling you out. So six players would be good. Um, and I want to do a little bit more pre preparation so I can assign things and because it's big doesn't mean we have to finish it all. But um, <laughs> Achilles recommends three hours of dodgeball, fire dodgeball. Hours. Apparently, it's cl character building. He says. If so, you could dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball. That's it. I love that line. Um, so he will, we will have that opportunity. Um, <laughs> the experiment was a success. We learned not to do it again. Achilles indicates he is in. So nice playing that. So the 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 forces are assembling. The armies are assembling, and it will be good. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Had a great time. Um, thanks for playing, guys, and uh, we'll meet soon. But in the meanwhile, please take care of yourselves and one another. We will 